active in it. Yeah, okay. So by d giving you that option of being able to wash it out, you can then make whatever you want. So I didn't even know this was an option. Apparently, avocado skins make a really good dye. I need to explore this. Okay. I want to. I want to have a day playing with natural dyes because wow. they're fascinating. That, well, there's a whole show in itself. <laughs> Nine ninety nine your price. You get to make your own ink pads. You're getting twelve of those, and I love that fact that you they are separate, so you can wash them and reuse. Already ten percent of the stock's gone here saving five pounds but where where have you seen anywhere else that you can make your own i certainly haven't uh, seen this option before nine at six four six three seven there are more happy hours do explore them on our website a lot of you are shopping ahead but i think it's about time we go to our first demonstration with the lovely ellie what are we going to do now? right so do you remember last night we ink stained up one of the clipboards and i just thought over the next hour pulling in different techniques we would make um, like I did the calendar, but I'm going to do this more like a journal, but which we can tuck under there, mm -hmm. and then we've got all our little inspirational ideas. So what I've got is, do you remember we ink stained some papers last night? Yes. So I've, I've just torn some of those in half. Uh -huh. This morning, I was mopping up some book pages with the ink crystals. Ooh, that's so all I had was, oh look, there's a pot of ink crystals left over. So just where it was on the on the mat where I'd been painting yeah. things, I just took a bit of book page as if by magic mm -hmm. and why can you never separate pages when you want to and I just mopped up yeah. and that created my background which I've That's just fine. let dry and now you've got that so I've torn paper and just recycling old books yeah. that would uh, be going to landfill what a great way uh, to give a bit of character a bit of brown paper and this time I just used my ink crystals and I just painted it on. So we've got some nice surfaces to work on. You've been getting such a good response with the ink uh, crystals. Now they're on your screen right now. Pine, cherry and chestnut, those are your three options with regard to the uh, wood stain crystals. 603, 290 item number. I tell you, stock-wise, 70% of the stock has gone. I have got, this is, can, do you mind if I just show everyone this, Ali? No, that's... Because this was a Christmas box that Ali made. Now, we used the wood stains on yeah, it. Yeah, so this has just got cherry for that beautiful Christmas warm red. Yeah. And then the um, chestnut for the oh. trim. Had, had you primed it? No. Nope. Straight on? Straight on. Onto the wood. That is so effective. Beautiful colour. And I said that's got a matte finish because yeah. I've not varnished it or anything, but if you wanted to have a bit of a shine to it, you can either rub some polish onto it, just like you would treat a piece of furniture, nice. um, mod podge or anything yeah. like that, just that you okay. fancy. What, what stencils have you got there? Right, so these are the apertures. They're mm. one of the happy hour deals that's on the website. Okay. And you get lots of different shapes. And I don't know if you saw, but I was just popping them out of the sheet. They come right. in and you we'll get two pips. sets yep. and you get six different shapes in two different sizes so you get lots of sheets like this and you just twist them round okay. and they pop out Lovely. okay you do end up with a little stencily bit i'm sure there'll be a use for that mm -hmm. and then the main bits also pop out and we give you the innies and outies for a reason okay but one of them is this beautiful torn page so what i've done is i've taken one of my pieces of paper mm -hmm. and I'm just going to lay it down and I'm going to go around inking around the edge now if you're confident doing it just holding it in place absolutely fine okay so now I've got a torn piece of paper oh that's nice so I'm now going to lay the inny uh -huh. over the top so we're masking off effectively yeah Lay that one back over. Ali, this is very clever. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit darker. Because that's obviously behind. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just... I forgot a black. I think so. So a tiny little bit. Now use the, bit, the inny bit mm. to protect and just pull off so I'm just creating a little shadow it doesn't overly show at this point so the lights shine in there I'm going to have a shadow down here as well okay. all right so mm -hmm. that's off that's off I've now got two pieces of paper laying well, on top of each other 
Ali, I'm conscious of the fact, with this stencil, uh, I just want to show everyone at home what you're getting, because you're getting a lot more than we're just showing you yeah, here. Yeah, that's just one yeah. part of one set. Yeah. <laughs> so let me just show you, I think. Have we got a picture that we can show? Uh, let, we'll just show a quick picture of everything that you get. Wow! Look at the amount that you're getting. And again, it's a £10 saving. This is your Aperture collection. Uh, you're getting, or two Aperture collections, I should say. Set number one, set number two. Uh, set four, sorry. Set number one and set number four. All of those. those shapes you can see. So that's the shapes you get. So you've got um, sort of your usual, you've got tag shapes in there, arches, scallops. You get the inside and the outside for all of them. They're sized so that they fit on an A5 and an A6 piece of card. Yeah. But you've, they're slightly smaller so that you can ink around the edge and get a foam mat. So you can do a completely layered effect card without any dimension at all. But it oh. looks dimensional. Do you know, we've gone to 20% of the stock, and so with the shape, say what you're showing there with the torn page, the innie and outie, that's one. And On you get that in two sizes. And you get that in two sizes. Well, two sizes. And just showing, you're getting 12 shapes, or 12 of the stencils in the and outie in each collection, yeah. 24 in total. Yeah. For 9.98. Yes. How much does that, what, you're going to have to help me out, King, again, how much does that, <laughs> 42 pence. Per innie and outie stencil. That's, so that's per innie and outie because you yeah. do you do use both of them in different ways. Because I mean, you saw there that I used one to mask off, but on the same note, mm -hmm. I will come back and finish that in a minute. But I just wanted to show. So say for example, um, I'm doing a journal page. Yeah. I'm going to put my innie down. And I don't know if I've got any white gesso. I, I will do it. I'll do it with ink. Yeah, It'll work the same way. So you've jumped to 40% with the Aperture Collection. Uh, we don't think it's going to last. It is a happy hour, so normally we'd say this price around for this hour. But there is that avid, uh, added caveat. It's around while stocks last as well, and I don't think the stock's going to last. So you have been warned. Because one of the things I was suggesting with particularly with the clipboard yeah. um, idea on the, uh, on the one day special was doing a blank journal for people to fill in over the year. Yeah. So this is really handy because you've done your nice paper and then by putting this down and then you ink over and then when you remove you've got your panel for your journaling That's so that you know so that could be and then add the calendar or they could put their own photo in there so you've got all those options. So many options. Uh, okay we are very very busy. Half the stock has gone for the happy hour with the apertures. Uh, all I can tell you is happy hours and big thank you to Stampsway and Ali. We've actually got eight happy hours for this hour alone. Uh, apertures don't look like they're going to last, but do get ahead. Go onto the website, see all the happy hours that we have. We have the other stencil collection, which is incredible. Uh, I think with the other stencil collection, we're getting an even bigger saving. We hear £10 savings is incredible. The one with the crown, uh, I don't know if we can see the picture as well. Uh, look at all of those. And they are. What size are we uh, six looking by at? There? Well, they're just shy of six by six. They're 147 yeah. millimeters. That's a good value for money. You're saving seventeen pounds and ninety-three pence. Nine ninety-nine for all of those is incredible. Okay. Right. So I'm just carrying on with my journal page for my clipboard. You're using the insects from your. Um, the, this is from the original family. You yes. Out. So because I want to keep that illusion of it being a layered page, whereas sometimes I want my images to be going over the edge, as I want this to look like a layered page, I'm just putting this here as a, like as a visual reminder that I'm going to just, sorry Beetle, you're losing a leg, because <laughs> I want him to come off the page a little bit, he's going to have to lose a leg there. There we go, so now he's going to fit into that corner and look like he's walking up the page. Uh, yeah. So when I take that off, see he still looks like that's a torn piece of paper that's with all the bugs on. Ali, that looks so effective. And on that clipboard, I just love, I love all the projects in the One Day Special. So do you know what the One Day Special allows us to do? It affords the opportunity to dip into your stash and really have some fun. Exactly, exactly. There's so many different options and something like this. So actually... Decorating the clipboard was fairly straightforward, but what you put on it is where you can really let yourself yeah. lose. So if you are a crafter and you're giving it to a non-crafter, 
fair enough you can make some nice little pages put some photos whatever. you know this could be a passage from a book it could be you know a, a photo of a wedding or mm. anything that you want on it you, you could, but if you're giving this to a crafter yeah. you decorate it up very basically bit of personalization make some nice blank journal pages happy Christmas and they've then got crafting yeah, for the new year that's very cool um, a to-do list on here that has got a hook so it can hang on the wall to-do list is brilliant oh to-do lists yeah. are so important I think with the um, with the clipboard if you used some of uh, their mediums to turn it into a chalkboard as well yeah, that would work really well, well you say there's mediums if you happen to have any tile grout sticking around under the kitchen sink, yeah. seems to be the place we keep tile grout, uh, the, the, the powder one, yeah. mix that into a chalk paint, that hardens it up and will become a chalkboard paint then. Ali, you're so good with your little tips and hacks. Uh, I've got to tell you, with regard to the apertures, 80% of the stock has gone and they are absolutely flying. It seems that you all have the same outlook I do with crafting. You love a bargain, and why not? You are getting two collections, collection number one, or set number one, and set number four. Uh, you're getting 12 stencils, both the innie and outie, so you're getting the stencil and the mask in each of those, 12 in each set, so 24 in total, two of uh, each size as well. Awesome value for money, really, really good. Right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And we've got some patchwork templates as well. Yes, yeah, so this is one of the patchworks. Yeah. So patchworks work in a similar way to the apertures, but they're a little bit more complex in design. Right. So think of them as almost like layouts. Mm. So actually, if I bring my clipboard, clipboard's really good for showing things <laughs> off. <laughs> right, so if you look, this is one. You get 12. Right. Six ace. Uh, six A5s and six six by sixes. Mm. Too many sixes in that sentence. So this is one of the A six A5 ones. So you see, you've got all these little squares. So you could, if you want to, um, draw around those onto pattern paper, cut them out. Then you put this back in, and you put all the little pieces back in, and you've got like a a, a layout for a card without having mm. to measure in these. You've got all the bits for matting and layering. Again, you can simply put them down and ink through them. But it's straight away you've got a, a, a layout. So Leonie and I were talking about them. These were originally done with cards in mind, but now think about your planners. Mm. That could be a page of your planner. You know, you've got all these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, little squares for little notes, put a photo here, journaling, all sorts of different things. That's just one design. You've also got this guy who's really fabulous. So you can have it going this way. I'm gonna do a quick Christmas card because I can. Okay, I'm just going to grab a bit of card. Um, aged mahogany, that's a nice Christmassy colour. Mm -hmm. I just had, I had a quick thought. Not that I changed my mind, we didn't have that conversation earlier about how I may occasionally change my mind. <laughs> All crafters do. Crafty prerogative. It is a crafty prerogative. So, my aged mahogany is one of my original, original distress inks. Yeah. So this is rather old, as you can see, but it's doing its job. Mm -hmm. If you want to tape these down with a low-tack tape, you can do. Yeah. But they're easy enough to, if you do feel that you've wobbled, they're easy enough to line back up. So I'm just going through, keeping this very simple in terms of, because you know sometimes when you're doing Christmas cards, there's going to be that one person you think, why am I doing them a handmade card? They're not going to appreciate it, but I will, my conscience will be clear. Yeah. I've done a handmade card, but I've not spent hours on it. Yeah, I've just noticed you're getting the instructional DVD in the mix as well. Oh so yeah, I forgot that bit. What, what, what would we be seeing on there? That would be me yeah. <laughs> Go, showing you all the sorts of different things you can do with the patchworks. So about paper piecing through them, about inking through them, embossing with them all sorts of different ways that you can layer um, them with the masks and stencils when you spritz through them and then lift the colour off and things like that, using them to glaze through so you get a tile effect. So it's effectively a whole crafting course, really, yes. all those techniques. And that's not a bad memory because I think it might be about seven years old, that DVD. Wow. <laughs> okay. But again, you're getting all the templates, you're also getting the DVD in there. Look at all of that. 
for twenty one ninety eight is incredible. I mean, just the DVD alone, how much would you pay for one on one time with Ali that you can revisit whenever you like? And it also allows you to get the most from the set. Is that wrong? That's the wrong price. Is That's it the not the happy hour price. Oh. Now apologies. So the price, there is a different we're gonna we're gonna drop that price. Are we going to drop it? I think we might be dropping okay. it quite a little bit. Do you know? <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. I would be happy at twenty one ninety eight. Uh, now, what we do is we have had a couple of you who have checked out at this price. So please get back in touch, and we will sort sort it all out because that is not going to be the happy hour price for this hour. We will drop that. So we'll take the details off screen for now. Apologies, it's just our system uh, playing tricks on us. But obviously, we are going to drop that price in just a moment. Okay. But in the meantime, so I've now got my little decorative panel. Uh -huh. So I've decided for my quick Christmas card, I'm going to take some of my ephemera baubles. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm feeling in a three bauble kind of mood today. Oh, very nice. I do like these baubles. Now these are the baubles. Are they on the new? Your They're new the new ones. Yeah. Yes, we've put Christmas on the new ones. We've. Okay incorporated a bit of Christmas. I'm going to have that one hanging behind mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to extend that what? stalk up. I mean, I've just seen that price. <laughs> That's better. Oh, wait a second. Happier with that one. So we're getting, we're getting all the stencils. Now, the reason why I, I was saying I was happy with the £21 price, you're getting the DVD in there yeah. as well. I that knew you'd be happy with that price. Okay, that is ridiculous. It, take away the DVD for all those stencils. Okay, nine ninety eight would be a great saving. The fact that you're getting the DVD and all those patchwork stencils. So what Ali's doing is giving you all the knowledge, all the different techniques to get the most out of that set. For nine ninety eight, are you kidding me? That is amazing value. Amazing. I, I even think twenty one ninety eight is a good price for what you are getting. Wow, wow, Ali. I'm genuinely shocked by that. <laughs> and when I looked up and saw it, I'm like, no, that's not the price I worked it out <laughs> I could do it at. So you are I'm very good, Ali, with whenever you come and visit us, you always try and ensure you give the best possible value. I'm a, as I say, I'm a crafter. Yeah. I, you know, I know what it's like to want everything, <laughs> as my <laughs> husband will vouch for. So <laughs> I'm just playing around with some yeah. baubles here yeah. to create a very simple layered card. Now, you could also work on your nice little backgrounds that your mop up pieces yeah. that Leonie and I always make. And I was going to add That's nice. a Christmas greeting. That ephemera is so effective. It works so well. Mm. Merry yeah, Christmas. I really like that. Very simple. There you go. Like Map that onto a bit of red. There you go. Brilliant. You can get the ephemera. I've got to go back to the patchwork and the DVD happy hour because it is absolutely blind. And a lot of you are so far. We've gone from literally 10%, 20%, we're now at 30% of the stock. You saw what happened with the apertures. Uh, so with regard to that happy hour, any of the happy hour deals on the show, they're around for this hour. But what I would say is there is one added caveat to that. They're also around while stocks last. You're seeing how busy we are. So with regard to the stencils you're seeing there, on, on the website, you can use your phone or your tablets, a smartphone or tablet, see the apertures. Have we still got the apertures or have they gone? They're still hanging on just. Uh, then you've got your stencils in the mix. We've got more. Uh, is that another DVD bundle? With, that's your, all right, stop. Can we get the details for the surfaces? Because this is incredible. Now let me show you something. That DVD alone with all those surfaces. So we're able to, um, are we able to print off the surfaces from that DVD? No, that's a, a instructional DVD by the beautiful Sarah Lawrence, who's okay. no longer with us. Yeah. But her knowledge was phenomenal. Right. And some of the techniques that she pioneered, yeah. we still use today. But she also does stuff that people may have forgotten about. She does techniques where she makes um, stamps using rubber bands and yes creating texture in paint and they're absolutely phenomenal she was she loved working with textiles yeah. so a lot of what she does can be applied to textiles but as a mixed media artist you go whoa that would work so well on canvases and things like that so that is such a 
an amazing collection of inspiration. She sounds incredible. She uh, oh. Asked Leone because Leone knew her very well. Yeah. Um, and yes, yeah, she was possibly before her time with a lot of things. Whereas, you know, she would you know, mucky fingers and, you know, she would be, you know, it was back in a time where not so many people embraced that. Oh, but oh, by having this DVD, we're keeping yeah. that alive. And she That's really was a forerunner. Some yeah. of the products that she brought to market were, you know, way before their time. I love the fact that you say you're keeping that memory alive. I, yeah, that's a good buy. I'd like to look at that. Um, Ali, I'll be honest. Yeah. We need to chat to you because we're busy. So would okay, you mind okay. if I have a quick recap so Course we can, can chat to you and then we'll get back to it? Yes. Okay, so we will be doing that right now. Always, this is a top tip. If you're watching Shopping TV and you see the presenter uh, pulling away the focus so the team can chat to the guest, you know we're having a busy hour. We really should be having a busy hour. Stamps Away are so good at what they do. We have got queues on our phone lines. I am sorry if you are currently stuck in a queue. Can we just, for a minute, I know the happy hour deals have caught everyone's imagination, and I'm in you with, I am totally agree. I, I'd be the same. But the thing is, you've got these fantastic stencils, masks, DVDs, then you want to employ those techniques onto a project. And this is where the one day special comes to life. Because what you have got are eight of the most beautiful projects to sink your teeth into. So get creative, because it can be anything you like. Got this wonderful hanging sign, but let's think about this, because you could go steampunk, we could go very uh, shabby chic or uh, vintage, you could put a sentiment in there, a family picture, it doesn't have to be a picture, just a, a beautiful artistic sentiment in the room. So that's one project, but then we can go from something like that to something like this. And I've got to tell you, we're approaching 80% of the stock for the one day special. We've just hit halfway point in this hour. We are busy. Look at that for a set of shelves. So what are you going to be doing with your set of shelves? What are you going to be using from your stash? Ali's going to show you how to make your mushrooms. And that's, uh, for me, one of the biggest selling points with this. You've got the projects, but you're getting two DVDs to go with the bundle. And those DVDs are chock-a-block full of advice, tips, techniques that Ali's giving you. And then you can go on and incorporate those onto uh, your future makes. For instance, how Ali achieved this wonderful dragon effect. She breaks it down. She shows you all the secrets that she's uh, picked up along the years as a crafter. And she's gifting them to you on that DVD. How to make the dragon's egg. So we could obviously you're getting this project to make with the one day special but then in future if you wanted to achieve that same look say the front of an album or a memory book you can do that those are just three projects we've got this wonderful little it could be a trinket box it could be a recipe box coming through so that's another project on the dvd that ali shows you then we've got the bottle uh, it's like a little crate it could be a bottle crate that's using the wood grain uh, ephemera, um, the, it's the ephemera stickers that you can get. How effective is that? Then we have the clipboard. Now this is something that Ali's been working with this hour. Look at this clipboard. Oh, that's just fallen, that's okay. That was me. Okay, look at that. So you're getting the clipboard there too. What a great project to do. And it could be, uh, you can make that useful. So you could create some card, uh, some uh, stationery, some blank stationery, put it in there, and then gift it to somebody. And over here, we've got two more projects as well, all included with the one day special. So each one effectively is a mini craft along. What Ali does is take you through how to make all eight of these projects, two DVDs for $49.90. It's effectively what you're doing is going to, if I was to tell you, you could go to a craft class with Ali, get the project here, dip into your own stash, obviously you're using your own mediums, but you're getting the MDF, you're getting the wood for the project, and you're getting the tuition how to make each of these projects, £6.25 per project. £6.25, and that's not even factoring in the fact that on top of that you will be getting, not paying any more, £6.25, and then you're getting the two DVDs and you're getting a stencil into the mix as well. It's such a good bundle. You can also split the price in half. One thing I want to say to you, and this is, uh, I'm going to leave you with this point, 
it's not a £10 saving, it's a £50 saving uh, because we've already factored in the £20 saving you'd get if you bought this individually, £20 saving here, so you're actually saving £50 in total. And to highlight the point, you can see that. They, each option share the same item number. So that £40 being factored in with the one-day special, you're saving a further £10. It's such a good deal, and it would be 100% where my money would be going. We're approaching 80% of the stock here, potentially... We could be going limited stock this hour. You have been warned. Uh, okay, now, uh, we have got the pick and mix ephemera for you. So uh, it's a self-adhesive ephemera, and these are brand new designs. Whenever I worked with Ali in the past, the ephemera is something that a lot of people talk about, uh, get very excited about. So the fact that we've got brand new designs of ephemera, and I have got the designs in my hand to show you. Uh, whichever option you go for, you're going to get three of each sheet. So effectively, with your pick and mix, you're going to get nine sheets of ephemera for uh, 11 97 But it's when you use it then it really comes into its own. So feathers were very popular, beautiful color palette with your feathers. I'd be absolutely going for this calendar. Come on. And Ali was saying that you can make this for any year. It could be 2022, 2024. You just have to figure out what's the, the date on the 1st of January, and that's it. So there we go. Uh, the day rather, not date, 1st January. So then you've got your wood grain effect. That's very effect We were using that on the crate with the one day special. The baubles that Ali was using, loads of that, chop into those. We've got a bit of steampunk in there, love it. Christmas with the poinsettias and a, a beautiful splash of color. Got lovely sentiment. These are great for especially just thinking about the one day special. Then uh, more cogs for you, so any steampunk lovers. Uh, you've got your frames. These are nice, because remember, that is transparent. So whatever you layer these over, you're effectively given a beautiful, ornate frame. <laughs> I like these a lot, the little splats as well. So that's your brand new ephemera. 11.97 is your price. 387583, your item number. Now, we also have the original ephemera, uh, which lit the crafting world alight. Uh, a lot of you have enjoyed the original ephemera, and that's proven with the five-star reviews that's been afforded to this option. So uh, all the designs. What I would say to you is the crackle is incredible with the original ephemera. Uh, you've got loads of different designs. I do have a little look and see it's hard to pick a favorite but you do have to pick your three so which options are going to be falling into your basket okay we're going to head back to ali now for our next demonstration ali what would you like to show us right i was going to have a little play with the sort of little bundle of eight stencils yep. okay because palette art is great if you want to um have a little play yeah. you get two of the palettes in the one day special so you can save one for a special occasion and one just play and you don't have to glue all the planks together you could use each plank individually mm. i have also when you when you glue them you use these bars across the back to mm. hold them all into place i have actually missed one off the back before and put Wait, it on the, the front to make a shelf ali sorry i just wanted to confirm something with the one day special we're getting one of those palette planks or two two getting two so you get eight big planks four little planks so, so you could mix and match and yeah we can make two of these two of them so we're actually getting nine projects yeah okay well that's made it even better value so i've been saying eight and uh, well, i apologize cause, yeah because uh, the thing is because they're the planks you could put them all together if you want yeah. because i've also done it where i've made i've messed these up with um, a knife and made them look quite driftwoody and made them into a frame uh, okay. with a picture of a dog behind don't have children can you tell <laughs> so I just thought I'd have a little play to create some interest going around the back now yeah. in the set of eight you have got all sorts to play with yeah. the bingo is really fab because you've got numbers and things and there's something quite sort of um, interesting about numbers and the nice thing with these if you work with jelly plates because they're um, reversible mm. you can actually make sure that you get the numbers coming out the right way because when you work with stamps on a jelly plate you have to have them back to front yeah. whereas these you just flick it around the other way is this the one with the crown as well the crown yeah there's the crown hang yeah. on I've got to tell you these stencils are incredibly busy the crown a half second the ago. stock has gone 9.99 why wouldn't you why wouldn't you pop this into your basket uh 583 your item number that crown though looks incredible. the crown has gone for it was here a minute ago it's That's gone okay. for a little walk i suspect somebody's walking around wearing it <laughs> um but i actually well, really <laughs> i really like the chevron yeah that's nice so what I'm going to do is I've got white gesso and I've got black gesso and oh. I'm working on a palette which is now pine. <laughs> I'm 
because I just thought that was quite... So I'm going to load my sponge up with white gesso. Dab off excess onto your mat mm -hmm. and you sort of stipple through. Okay, and I'm only going around the edges. Lovely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mixed media, this is... This is, this is, the this is very, very... Not basic, that's for simplistic, mm -hmm. but you'll see that we can create quite a nice interest going on. And I could come in with a different stencil. I'm just trying not to make too much mess. It's already given us an incredible amount of depth. Because the way the chevron works, it's, it's kind of Yeah, it's the quite, eye, it is. I'm just going to get a bit more. And then I am going to break some golden rules in a minute. Okay. But you will break I'm, a, I'm allowed to. That's <laughs> how we learn. Got to tell you, 60% of the stock has gone for our stencils, and it is busy. Very busy. Okay. Now, I want to give that even more depth. Uh -huh. So, using the same sponge and the same stencil, I'm going to dip into my black gesso. A double dip. A double dip only ever go into the lid okay. if you don't have any because then if you do contaminate it Just you can rinse it but yeah. also with what's on the lid and the amount of white if it does it's so dilute it's not yeah. gonna but never go the other way don't go from the black to the white no. because obviously that would change it cool. but because I've got some white on my sponge and on my stencil you see I'm getting tone oh, yeah. so now we're getting shades of grey However many shades of grey you want. Um, I've seen about 50 now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> because you, this is nice because you don't... Um, so actually, because you, you normally you think it would start off lighter. Yeah. But because the black's on the surface, yeah. you actually, the more you work it, more of the mm -hmm. white comes through the sponge. And you just get... Nice. Do you want to know a fun fact, speaking oh, of uh, 50, uh, 50 so, uh, shades oh, of grey? Is it suitable? Yeah. Okay. E.L. Jones, who wrote it, was my old boss at Sky. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. She told everybody uh, she's going to be a writer. So, yeah. <laughs> and everyone went, yeah. was like, okay. And then she comes out with 50 shades. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Good fact, right? Good that fact. is a cool yeah. fact. <laughs> I don't know if I inspired. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Can I confess I've never read them? <laughs> right, so I've now created a little bit of... Um, I'm now going to just create a little panel to go in the middle. Uh -huh. So I could continue, yeah. as my sponge is still loaded up, just so that it all ties together, just do a tiny hint around the edge here. Just the tiniest mm -hmm. hint. Yeah. Okay, so I imagine I've done that all around, so that's uh -huh. going to go. That kind of looks tigerish. Oh, that's nice. So I good. need a ginger dog to go on that uh, because that is so Marvin's colour scheme. I think we've got a Marvin coming up. We have got a Marvin, which is standard. Can you tell everyone the story you told me about Tonka? Which? The butterfly. Oh, yeah, my Tonka, he's 40 kilos. Which means he is very, very large. He's a big boy. He's a big boy, but he came running through the factory the other day because a butterfly was chasing him. Tonka. He was. He 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 went to Christine, who works for us, because um, she'll protect him from the butterfly, which we did protect him from while laughing at him. <laughs> he he's not very brave. He really isn't. That's he's it. such he's a, a gentle little giant. soul. Marvin, he's the toughie of the group. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to tell you a little update with regard to the pack work. Uh, now remember you're getting the DVD in there as well. We are approaching 60% of the stock. Because it stamps away, we're able to offer a lot of stock. That price, and if you were watching earlier on, you'll say that we originally put this at 21.98. It's not 21.98. It shows that is, uh, that is a genuine uh, regular retail price. 9.98 for the DVD. I mean, just for the DVD alone, 9.98, you're winning, and then you're getting all of those templates in. Can I just reiterate? I know that a couple were sold at the 21.98. So if that's you, please give our call center uh, a ring, and we'll obviously we'll um, we'll uh, refund you and give you at that price. Okay. Okay. So I just want to tie it all together, and my go-to ephemera at the moment for tying it all together there's a little combination of a couple of them so blueprint mm -hmm. blueprint is also really handy for anchoring corners down okay yes. and 
That's Where is my other go-to sheet? A great picture of Marvin. He is very photogenic, which unfortunately means there is a lot of photos of Marvin. Is he, is he cuddling? Oh, he's a snuggle monster and a half. He oh. really is. I'm surprised I'm not covered because when I got back, because I had to go and pick hubby up and drop them off at work, uh -huh. and I did sort of get a little bit marvined. <laughs> so I've probably got. So I'm just adding some splats. Look, oh, I've got. To, I've got. To, got to put my coffee cup down on it. Yeah. Again, this is my one that is a go-to. Go, go, go yeah. across everything. And that's the joy of the ephemera. So it really does look like you've just put your coffee cup down on there. Okay. And let's bring in some old ones. Mm -hmm. And as Marvin always is, be yourself. Be yourself. What a lovely piece. And just showing you what you can achieve. And the, the, the beauty of this show, and with Stamps Away and of course Ali, is that you get to really reflect your own personality. What Ali does, she gives you the techniques, which you can take in any direction you like. Uh, and Stamps Away, they give you the projects and also the other elements to really bring it to life. So you have your project, you have your stencils, you have a DVD, which is important because you're getting that education as well. Just a reminder of the one day special, everything that you're seeing here, how incredible do these projects look. You are getting all of these projects. I've been saying eight, you're actually getting two of the little pallet boards, so really nine. I mean, it depends how you see it. You can make one larger project uh, or you can make two of those. So eight stroke nine projects within the mix. You do get a stencil. It's not that stencil. I'll just show you. So within the one day special, you're getting the dandelion, which is here. So many happy memories. Um, it's that idea of giving a wish. There's so many uses for a dandelion. It's oh, just, sorry. it's and the I children's like the flower. Scattering the seeds. <laughs> it's very sweet. I just heard a story. So Kim, our producer, has got a lovely little boy, Abel. He's two. He calls them dandy tigers. Oh, dandy tigers! I that's, love. I cute. feel that they are going to be called that now. Dandy tigers. I think that's yeah. brilliant. But all oh, of these projects. That. Now, with the one day special, you're getting two DVDs. You're also getting the stencil. So. Every project that you're seeing here, you're going to do. For 49.90, got to remind you, you're saving 50 pounds. I know it says a 10 pound saving. You're actually saving a further 40 pounds uh, that's factored in if you were to buy the one day special in two parts. So effectively this half or that half. So those savings, the 20 pound saving on each has been factored in. So you're saving 50 pounds. And let's very quickly, let's have a look at each of these projects. So as a crafter, and I know I've said this a lot, but I find sometimes the hardest part of crafting is looking for that next project. So let's see, you're getting eight projects in total. Would you like to make something like this? And we all have, Ali said it, and I, the first thing I thought was, yeah, she's absolutely right. We all have that old brush that we're looking to do something with. So that is one project that you're seeing. It's a beautiful project. That's just one. That's costing you £6.25, or just under, and that doesn't even account for the DVDs and the stencil. Then we're getting our palette, our little uh, palette board. It's another project. Then we get our crate, which is over here. So you can put anything into your crate. That's another project. Then you've got this, this is really nice, little recipe card box or trinket box in there. I mean, that is the kind of project and techniques that Ali's going to be showing you. That's another project. Up here, the clipboard, which we've seen a lot of this hour. Again, in the one day special. So you get to make that. Then we move on to, now these are, taking it to the next level really have a look at this as a piece an artistic piece and what Ali does and I would get this one day special just for this one technique alone she teaches you how to do all of this so we'll dip into our stash we'll try and find something to get that glass effect but isn't that incredible as a piece of art then you have your shelves in the mix as well another project Ali teaches you how to do the mushrooms. What are you going to be putting on your shelves? Your little works of art there. And then finally, we have our hanging sign in the mix too. So all eight projects, each with their own individual merits and personality. That's hanging sign. I love Tonk so much. He ran away from a butterfly. Tonks, so cute. He's like the dog in Up. Okay, so other animations are available. 
That is your one-day special. It's a great price. Please don't miss out there. Something else that is uh, proving very popular, you've got your Stamps Away Simply Fuse DVD. Uh, you're getting two meters of fusible film collection and the education to get the most out of it as well. So it's another masterclass with Ali. See it as a craft along. 644-379, your item number. Uh, got to give you a reminder of the making your own ink pads. I have just never seen anything like this. We can make our own ink pads. For $9.99, they have proved very, very popular. Uh, 964-637, your item number there. Now, something else. It's not a happy hour, but uh, I think you're going to like it. It's the molding mesh. $9.99, your price there. You're getting two packs of the molding mesh. 814-766, your item number. Could we use the molding mesh for our dragon? It's actually what's behind the paintbrush on the oh, thing. So here. basically, you put it down, you would anchor it in one particular place wherever you want it, and then yeah. when you heat it, it will warp and shape, and you right. get that fabulous. Then you gesso it, whatever you want to change the colour. So it doesn't matter what colour, because you'll get any colour. Yeah. We've got loads of different colours, but it doesn't matter because you change the colour of it anyway. Okay. Then you can stitch it onto it, all sorts of different yeah. things. It's fabulous. Right. Cool. What are we going to do next? Then? Right, so I thought we'd do a little bit of uh, using the patchworks. Mm -hmm in conjunction with some of the masks and stencils, pulling in a bit of ink crystals, and possibly, if we've got time, we'll play with the ephemera. Because okay. we've got loads of time. We've got 10 minutes-ish. Yeah. <laughs> I'll lie to myself. Time's going quick. <laughs> right, so I've just got one of the patchworks, because I assume we've still got some of these. Yeah. Okay. 60% uh, that was the stock spine of the patchworks, and I have to say, patchworks were a revelation. That price, 9.98. Okay, so this is another one of the six by sixes. Uh -huh. So I'm just going through, and you don't need to be mega neat because the template's doing the work for you. Mm. But it's got really nice, interesting shapes here. Draws the eye in. So again, if you're journaling, fabulous. Yeah. I'm just going to pull in another colour because some of my distress inks have possibly had better days. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do there, there, I'm going to go quickly with this. Okay. So you want really quite a lot of colour down. Yeah. Then grab one of your stencils, ah. spritz with right. some water, Yeah. count to ten-ish, oh, and yes. dab, so it's now removed some of the colour. That is very clever. Okay, now you can either go in with the same stencil, mm -hmm. which I think I will do, just because I do like the bingo, yeah. and one of the colours we have been using, again, so now we're going to intensify the colour in places. Yeah. So just... There we go. So now we've got that, remove that, oh, we've got a nice interest there. And then earlier, I mean, cool. while I had my ink crystals mixed up, yeah. I just painted some of my papers mm -hmm. and With I'd already die cut yeah. some flowers and some petals, not petals, fronds. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a little bit of that and I'm just frantically looking around to see if I can find my dragonfly ephemera right. because I think... Okay, he would nice. work really nicely there, so yeah. I'm frantically looking to my side while trying to layer that onto Bless there, because I just think those colours are nicely, so flick, flick, flick. Yay! Okay. Nice. And we'll have him going across like that. Ali, that looks and good. let's come in and oh no dream big I think we'll have on this one so very simply that could be a journal page could be a card could be that a little picture in a frame was made from scratch in three minutes I was looking oh good three does that minutes. mean I can do me ephemera as well <laughs> yeah well, we've got time actually so you've got about a minute and a bit okay so, one of my favourite techniques with the ephemera, and this shows how nicely it layers. So I've got a bit of broken tile, okay. I'm taking some of my crackle, right. press it down, uh -huh. and we're just going to trim that off. So this is just a bit of broken tile. Uh -huh. Save all your bits, 
everybody will be fed up of me saying that but it's so important you never know when you're going to need so now we've got this beautiful crazed crackle piece and I'm going to pick a nice I haven't got a dandelion or a dandy tiger I'm afraid oh, tiger. I think that's brilliant so I'm going to hang that over the edge because it always looks more realistic if you have it hanging over the edge if you put it right in the middle it doesn't look like it's a genuine piece of antique pottery uh, look at but that. now we've got an antique piece of pottery which we can use in an embellishment on something you are a start what two techniques in less than five minutes we can do it ali thank you so much thank you it's so much fun i really hope you've enjoyed it now ali will be back at four o'clock for the final call of our fabulous one day special if you have got any of the happy hours in your basket please make sure to check out. And the only reason I'm saying that is at the end of the hour, the price will jump back to their regular retail price. So the, uh, the price drop on the happy hours are only around for this hour. Ali, thank you. Thank you. One hour, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I really enjoyed that was it. quick. Uh, so you can always catch up on the hour on our website or go to the Hochanda app as well. Thank you for your company. So we've got a fabulous hour with the wonderful Natasha Makes. Uh, she's got some great quilts for you. After that, we've got Kurataki. And then we've got the tremendous Stampendous. What an afternoon at Ho-Chanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a Chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting.
I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the Character Craft Shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Good afternoon. I think it's afternoon. Yeah, one o'clock. It should be afternoon. Uh, well, we have got Natasha Meggs and of course we have got uh, the amazing Natasha McCarthy here to demonstrate the, her patterns as well as somebody else's patterns that we will talk up in a little second. Hi, Natasha. How Hello. are you? Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Always a joy to work with you because I, you know, when we met, uh, you were already sewing, but it's so beautiful to see now bringing up your Natasha Meggs now here to Hachanda. Yeah, so it's, it's been quite quite a journey from sewing because I was pregnant and bored and, you know, didn't know what to do with myself. And everyone said, oh, you're nesting. <laughs> I'm bored out my tree. <laughs> um, so I just, I recovered everything in the house and it just sort of spiraled and went from there. Absolutely. And also now I noticed that you are collaborating, well, you have brought a um, a beautiful Jenna Claire. Brilliant. Yeah, so there's a story behind this. This this quilt pattern that I've brought to wear today um, is from the very lovely Janet Claire. And this was the first ever pattern that I bought thinking this is something I could actually make. As a non-quilter, this is way, way, way back. So we're going back years and years and years. Um, this was the very first one. This was the first time that I actually looked at a quilting pattern and went, I could do that. And that is a kind of a lovely story. So that, if you are a beginner, phenomenal. Now, this is a 38.5 uh, inches by 42 and a half inches for £34.99. It's phenomenal value for money. And of course, the name of Janet Claire. Now, here you have got two options, the light or dark. Uh, you can tell by the gray. That's yeah. the one that you can see the that's, most. That's the giveaway. So the others, the other two blues that you'll see there are salt batik and in one of them you've got a salt batik grey and that's the one that this sample has been made in and it for me when I saw those fabrics and I work with salt batiks a lot it has such a marine feel to it that when I saw it it was just absolutely spot on for me but on the actual front of the picture she does use a slightly lighter grey which is why I've given that option so you'll see what these look like made up but if you want to go for the lighter grey as as on that the front of that picture then you've got that option as well so you'll see I love the one that I've, I've met obviously because that's the one that I chose but you've got that and then you've also got the navy for the whales and everything in there and, and we'll, yeah, we'll finish it, it, it off it is uh, of course you are going to show us how to do the applique those beautiful wells I adore this one uh, and now this is this the dark or? this is the dark yeah so that's the dark one so that's all of your background there is in the salt applique oh, it's in the, the salt batiks and that is made by uh, when the fabric is wet when the fabric dye is wet they hand throw salt over the over the dye and of course it absorbs some of the dyes yeah, and you gorgeous. get this incredible three-dimensional effect into the dye it's really beautiful it is gorgeous and also I love how the quilting you have done and the and the waves of after the quilt now uh, the light option is actually on the lead uh, if you want that one could you check out your uh, your baskets I prefer I prefer the darker one because you get the salt in the gray as well as the other colors do you know it's it's just down to personal taste both Absolutely. are gonna look great and they're just they're just really Really, really lovely really easy simple makes and actually the whales I made with my son so he did all the drawing wow. around so he's got involved and this is a quilt for him it was always been a quilt for him how, how um, old is Freddie? Six. So imagine a six so you can get involved you can create a quilt 
together with yeah. a six-year-old. Uh, you are getting a four, a four and a half meters, whichever option you go, of course, the light or, uh, of course, of the dark. You are getting, of course, the pattern and the instructions, and you also are getting the template for the applique, all in a very beautiful quality as well printed. Now, it does uh, have extended delivery, I believe. Yes. Uh, it will be dispatched from the 15th of October. It's just, R yeah, it's a week, 10 days, something like that, yeah. yeah it does. And also, I always like to have, you know, something to look for. Absolutely. Uh, 34 pounds and 99 pence is the price for it. Remember, is your option of the light or of the dark. 855-686 is your item number. Now, if you just want, just want the pattern and some bundle web, uh, we do have got that option. Maybe you want to do it with your own uh, choice of blue fabrics, or even maybe you could do it in different colors. You might. I mean, this is it. So if it's going in somebody's room, then you might want it to be in slightly different colorways um, or whatever. I mean, nobody said that whales have to be blue. Absolutely. Or that they have to be for boys or uh, anything else. Absolutely. My niece loves the whales. Uh, now, of course, you are getting a half a meter of bundle web, so enough to create. It's more than half a meter oh. in there because the half a meter just wasn't quite enough. Okay. And that's why normally you'd sell it in a half meter increment, which is why I've just added that little bit extra on for you so that you've got enough. And then you've got the bits in between, so you'll never throw those away. You'll use those for other projects. Indeed, you do. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 979-733 is your item number. Remember, that's for the pattern and the over a half a meter of Wonder Wet. Now, we have got the elephant applique. Now, here we have got the cushion, the trump up. So, you know what I mean? It's good luck. Oh, does it? Yes. I just thought he looked fabulous when um. I when I made him, so I just <laughs> thought that that's the one. I wanted an elephant that was going to be an easy shape. Uh, so if you were just starting a plique and you were just starting to blanket stitch and stuff around, I wanted something that would be really easy for you to do. So it's not too intricate, um, and and he's on there. And then also, so you get the pattern that's going to give you um, how to make that front, and whether you then make it up into a cushion like you've got or into a little tote bag. That's my daughter's lunch. Um, then it's entirely up to you how you want to do it but you will get the full instructions as to how to make the cushion so I then did another one there and that's the cushion front that's made the bag but you also get a half meter of gray you get your bonder web you get your pattern and you get your templates in there as well and the templates are done both ways so that you can have you could do two facing if you wanted on a quilt it's entirely up to you how you want to do them and you get your stars in there as well. Actually, it would look quite nice as a reflection with a moon, wouldn't it? It would. Get it like that. I think oh, like, why didn't I think of yeah, that? Come it would on. be so cute. And you can have the day and the and day and night in the other side. You could. All these things are possible, oh. but everyone loves an elephant, right? And um, the, and the grey is actually called elephant grey, uh, so it was just it yeah. was meant to be. And, and so I'm with the grey that you have left over, you can make the cushion back and, uh, and everything else. But just choose your favourite fabrics to go on the front. Pop your elephant over the top, but we'll show you how to do that applique. Perfect. Um, now, if you want to go for this um, bundle, uh, fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. But nine four two a four five eight is your item number. Now, all of the whole team is really excited about the Halloween bag, <laughs> the treat bag. You have got Tim Holtz and of course K Fassett. Yeah. Now they are, and then of course you get it planes as well for the lining. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. So this came about. So actually, my Su uh, my friend Susie did this pattern for me we happened to be sitting at the table having a cup of tea and she saw my kids lunch bags that were made out of cave and they actually had a third a third row yeah. on there and she she just said oh do you know what actually if you did these smaller they would make a lovely trick or treat bag because she says you know and we both agreed that this year is going to be very different for trick or treat so I'm going to do just an at home basically a trick-or-treat hunt oh, around the house good. so hence having the two bags there that they can have one each and then they can find their little snacks and what have you so how you want to whatever stitching or whatever that you want to do on it you've got three different fabrics the same amount of each so that you can mix and match it and you're also going to get that a little pre-cut felt um, pumpkin uh, which is just down the side there that you can pop on there uh, if you want to if you want to applique him on stitch him on do whatever you want with him then he can go on there so the two bags just show you two different ways of doing things and the pumpkins just by your left hand there Paula oh yeah so what is uh, oh no there, 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 yeah. There, yeah. yeah there it is that. so that's see. all pre-cut out for you 
so you are getting one eighth of Tim Holtz Halloween, and one eighth, uh, of course, uh, the K facet jumble, and then one eighth of the black as well, and of course instructions as well. So you have, and of course, you have got the felt. And printing. what I would say with the instructions is, you know, use the instructions to then make the same bag, but not for Halloween. Up. Just as a I, nice I little just, gift bag. I think so. I don't have really cool. Well, on all, well, it's not Halloween, but there, there are sweets in the building, so we can go and grab some I keep treats. hearing about these sweets. Oh, I'll what tell sweets? you all about it. I'll tell you all about it. But you also but get it, full step-by-step um, -step photographed instructions with it as well. But like I say, you know, it's called a Halloween treat bag, but actually as just a little gift bag as well, it's really, it's really sweet. Do it in complete, you know, do it in florals. It's going to look completely different. And I love the quality of your instructions are second to none. Now, Thank if you, you. want uh, to go for uh, this Halloween treat bag, uh, 059855, 16 pounds and 99 pence. I think a Christmas little presents, like uh, instead of a stocking, like yeah. having them like, oh, I, I love yeah, this. Yeah, and thing. just as a, as a gift bag I for someone, it. it's going to take you about 15 minutes to make it. So, you Perfect. know, it, it's a quick make. Now, uh, we have got... Uh, uh, well, I think they are, just make sure that you pack quickly. I know, I, I know, Molly's say, got her eye on them, hasn't she? a lot of us are eyeing the finished samples, but 11.99 for the uh, pattern of this amazing, lovely, nesting, uh, tidy and pumpkin pattern. It's so, two patterns. Uh, well, exactly, two patterns. Uh, now, here you are only getting the pattern. Now, you have got the instructions on how to make the pumpkins and also the nesting tidy. Look at this. How they go. Now, making a tidy is doable. Yeah. But easy. It's, it's sort of easy. But making them nested, you need a pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just getting the measurements right and, and everything else. And when they're all put together, they look really sweet. And of course, you can do, they're reversible. They're fully reversible. So you could have the side for Halloween and the side for Christmas. Yeah. Can yeah, you imagine yeah. that? Of course you can. Of course you can. Look at that. I love that. And then, of course, and you, then you can have here sweets for Christmas. So, yeah. what is the, your typical sweets for Christmas that you prefer? Oh, it's it's the tin of quality sweet, oh, surely, right? Other, other ones, uh, yeah. I'll put them out for roses. You'd as well. go for and posh ones, wouldn't you? I would buy a page at uh, you know vegan truffles, hazelnut, I, uh, the truffles. Uh, yeah, I would put that. And you're oh, so posh. <laughs> <laughs> and a champagne, no, no, yeah, champagne, I obviously. Of <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, no, the truffles, I'm not joking. Anyway, uh, of course, the ambassador. I was joking about champagne. That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, or Prosecco or Cava when, when it has to be. Anyway, if you want the patterns, the gorgeous are one seven two seven one two. Uh eleven ninety and eleven pounds and ninety nine pence is the prize. And let's have a look at the amazing uh Kiray, the one the Juki, the amazing gorgeous machine and that is the key the Juki H Z L N X seven <laughs> key ray so it key ray is much easier to pronounce and of course you'll get a f an additional feed set worth 200 pounds now this machine is one that of course Natasha lo loves Jenny Jackson loves it uh, our Catherine after about a year and a half of t t t not showing not, not sure how, which one to go for this is the finally the one that she went for and of course um, it is amazing isn't it's it it's absolutely sure? amazing um, I absolutely I, well I adore it and you know having worked with lots of different makes and machines I had my pick and this was absolutely the one. This was the dream, and uh, and I fell in love with it. Actually, at Stitches, the big the big quilting show at the NEC, and I had to do a demonstration. And this was the machine that they gave us. So in front of an aud a big audience, and I'd never touched the machine at all, which is quite nerve wracking. It's like driving somebody else's car, isn't it? But in front of a lot of people watching, like trying to reverse <laughs> in front of people watching. It is um, the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? It did me proud, and it was so intuitive. I thought this is this is the machine when I grow up I want a machine like this and this is my grown-up machine but any of the Juki range are phenomenal because they they pride themselves with quality um, above fussiness if that makes sense it's so you know some of their machines don't have a gazillion stitches 
because in having a gazillion stitches you've actually detracted from the quality so what you have with Juki is unprecedented quality and that is what they are renowned for and that's why I went for them. Yeah, and also what I, uh, you know, I come to really love the Juki as, as, to, uh, as an observer is the fact that it has got that built-in uh, kind of walking foot. I know yeah. I keep going on, but that yeah. is very important <laughs> I because I need now to buy one for my wearing machine. Um, and I know how much it, expensive, yeah. how expensive it is. Yeah, yeah. Then I love the extension table as yeah. well that it has got in there. Yeah, it's um, a lovely big size. Yeah, um, absolutely. And and of course, I love the, all the feeds in there that they are as well. Now, uh, that additional uh, additional set of uh, feed that yes, are worth 200 pounds. 200. Right. Yeah. Now, that's very useful, isn't it? So you, you just don't need anything else. That's where you get to with it, is that you have everything and you have a machine that you, um, you will grow into rather than a machine that you will grow out of. And, and that's the difference. I know that I will never have to buy another sewing machine again if I don't want to because I have everything here that I need. Yep, and of course there is five star reviews on the website as well, and it is, you know, it's what, one of the things that everybody who I know and they have gone for a jug juki uh, have loved it. And I always, whenever you look at, well, whenever you know, well, I'll mention it. I love uh, high fashion, and I follow a lot of, you know, in Instagram, a lot of designers, and they very often they will have videos of their ateliers and and seamstress and. You know, Armani, for instance, Valentino, yep. their seamstress used Juki. Well, Juki, the are, they came from a industrial background, so they, they are over 40% of the world's industrial sewing machines are Jukis. So they bring that industrial knowledge and they put it in their domestic machines and that's why they are so okay. good. Wonderful. Anyway. Just in uh, action. <laughs> let's see it in yeah, action. Let's see it in what action. What are you going to show us though? So you have got all of the cutting instructions in your instructions for the bag. You have got various ways in which to do it. So if, with the bags over there, they're all slightly different, um, different configuration, however you want to do it. So you could do the handles so that you have one that one side and one like that that side but I thought I'm gonna have one handle in the Halloween and one in the jumble so when you've cut it 22 and a half inches two and a half inch wide and then just fold it in half take it to the machine and then quarter of an inch seam down both sides it really is a super simple make you can make this with your kids if you want but like I say you will end up making this time and time and time again in different configurations once you've worked out how to do it um, you will you will make it in all sorts of different ways like i say these make great lunchtime bags for the kids uh, and off they go and um my my kids headmistress is she's always laughing at the bags that they come in with and um i'm comfortable with that and then all you do is turn that through and press it so let's just quickly turn that through yeah. I love that system that you use for turning things over. How quick it was that? Quick, right? Quick yeah. and easy. Is and then I think I spotted Edgar Allan Poe. Is that? You, you will spot all sorts of things. In the Tim Holtz fabric, it's just fabulous. Uh, really fabulous. And um, then just press out your seams. So I'm just going to go over here, press out my seams. Sorry, I will move this um, okay. later for when we applique and whatnot, but um, just for now. Right. And of course, you are using the Halloween a treat uh, bag, which c comes with already the pre die cut uh, pumpkin in felt, so you just can just assemble. I and cut those personally myself. Yeah. And then just back, and I'm just going to top stitch down each side. It just helps to reinforce, give a little bit of extra um, strength to the bag. This, I mean, this bag works on many levels. It's, it's really sweet as a gift bag as well. Um, I'm going to be honest, one of the kids in my son's um, school in his class has got his birthday tomorrow. He's like, Mommy, Mommy, it's so and so's birthday. Mm. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> He might be getting one of these bags with a book token or something. Oh, you know, it, it's those things, isn't it, that nobody else is going to be able to, to bring them or give them. 
so there we go we've now got two handles let's now make the patchwork front so it's super easy you um, you are going to just sew four patches together they're five inch patches and um, so that's what I mean if you've got some charms left over from a charm pack you can make it into this it's it's super super easy to do so just deciding which way around to do it right sides together and then a quarter of an inch down each seam there okay and you can um, chain piece these if you wish but I did say this was a lovely easy quick make yeah. right and I and I want that to be the case because if you're making this if you're making this with your grandkids, with your children, then they can get involved. Or if it's just a quick make that you want, or if it's just something fun that you want. This year is going to be different. There's no getting away from it. It is going to it be is. different. And, um, and I think finding any way to still make it fun and, um, and still make it entertaining. You know, my, I don't, we never trick or treat anyway because... Um, I mean, I don't really agree with it, but uh, it, it's it's finding ways to celebrate it that is, you know, that, that suits you. So we will do a little treasure hunt. And as I home. said, you know, like uh, in Spain, we never celebrated Halloween, and now maybe they are starting. Mm -hmm. But I th just love the pattern. I love uh, the also the fabric. I think Tim Holtz fabrics are always kind of quirky. They are a bit different. Uh, they are. They have got that sort of elements in there. You have got sugar skulls, you have got pumpkins, you have got apothec ap apothecary. Apothecary. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that word. Uh, you know, labels. And Look at the owls and the yeah, eyes. It's just, it's just so fabulous. And of course, you have got a uh, you know, as well, um, of um, Kate Fassett yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a Brandon it. Mabley jumble, that is. Oh, I love it. I love it. I just, anyway, yeah. So then, when you've sewn both of those and you've pressed the seams, you want to press the seams uh, so they're going to go in opposite directions so that when you put one on top of the other and just make sure that you do sew down the right, the, the, you know, the right side. It's very easy to move these things around. But can you see that those seams just nest in together like that? So that's where we're going to go and just sew there. And that sort of interlocks them. Yep. And that's, that's the key. If you can get that, then you're there, you're done. It's, it's easy after that. And um, so just sew down there. Obviously, if you want to pin, et cetera, et cetera, then you can. And then just press those seams. And then to make the outside... All you're going to do is put your two front pieces right sides together and sew all the way round. And mm -hmm. then, I told you it was easy, right? Yeah. And then with the lining fabrics, your two pieces of lining fabrics, you'll sew almost all the way round but leave a turning through gap. And then you'll just turn that through the right way, stuff it into the lining, put your handles in and stitch all the way around. And of turn it through, stitch around the top again, done. I mean, how simple it is. And I love that, you know, maybe you are like me, a beginner of uh, sort, or maybe you are like Natasha, an expert, but you want a quick and easy project, something that you can do in a short time, that you have got instructions, beautiful instructions, that you can replicate time and time again, not only with Halloween, but like Christmas, like maybe a treat bag. Maybe you, instead this Christmas, you are going to do, like many of us are doing, to do, uh, not, uh, not paper wrapping, but just using fabric of reusable things so you can then put them your presents in bags like this and of course once that you know how to do them these ones are five by five squares but you can actually make them into a lot larger uh, ones as well Right, that is, of course, the Natasha makes Halloween treat back kit. And, of course, makes one, but you can make as many as you want following the pattern. £16.99 is the price for that. 059-855 is your item number. Right, of course, that is one of the projects. And then we are going to move. Now, we are going to move underwater. And we are going to see underwater.
Yeah, we are going underwater. We are going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there is a boat coming in. Or oh, it's a cruise ship. It's a very big one. Anyway, <laughs> right. So uh, it does sound like uh, you know, uh, you know, those are steamboats or something like that. Anyway, uh, you have got <laughs> the boom boom. <laughs> Anyway, Jolly Whale uh, is the Jolly Whale. You have got two different options. You have got the Lloyd, which it has got the gray is the, is, is natural. Like I would say, is a solid gray. With the in the darker one, you get a Salbatic gray. Uh, all both of the lighter blues are Salbatic, and of course you have got the navy. Uh, now the light option is that one. So I'm um, believe uh, we are. Uh, and sorry, the dark, the dark is 30% of the stock. So now that one is on the lead, I believe. And of course, if you want it, you can have it. Uh, your item number is 855-686 is your item number and your price £34.99. Uh, and of course, that will create a glorious Jennifer Pla Claire. Uh, of course, the gorgeous uh, Jolly Wells. Uh, right, and I'm going to grab some notes. Because the Juki, well, it's very, very popular, isn't it? It's a beautiful Beautiful machine. Now I have looked at the things that comes with it, the things, you know, the extra stuff. But look at that. It comes, of course, with a quarter of an inch um, foot. So that's very important. It comes with a massive box full of feet. It does. It's it's huge. It comes with so. It's got more shoes than I have, which is saying <laughs> something. It's you know it it really is. It comes with so many things. You're not going to need anything else. Right. Um, and of course, it, does, it has got your sewing adapter, it has come your overcast presser foot, the blind stage uh, presser foot, it has got buttonhole presser foot, manual buttonhole as well. Mm -hmm. It comes with open toe presser foot. What is that one for? Is it um, for it's so that you can see what you're doing. So, um, you know, if you are doing some uh, applique or whatever and you want to see exactly where you're, you're stitching, it just means that there's nothing getting in the way. It's a really handy one to have. Uh, it does come as well, uh, which I thought I was really, really uh, taken aback that it comes with it, a quilt presser foot for the ruler. So then it kind of follows the, the acrylic pattern rulers, I would imagine. The quilt pressing foot. So the is the one, is it with the rulers? Yeah, and then uh, we also comes with the lifting lever. Uh, the foot controller, the foot pedal is really cool, isn't it? Because yes. it has got yeah, yeah. So you can program, you can program the foot to do all sorts of different things. It's it's just a phenomenal machine, and it you you could honestly do a two-hour show and still not get through all of its features. It's a machine that you will have and you will grow into, and you will absolutely love. Um, and it's just gonna, it's just, it's a machine that you will, you will never need another one. Yeah, and then also the other thing is the bonus fit inside includes the shank adapter. Why do you tell me a shank? Is it to adapt different feet from different? The shank adapter. Yeah. Which one? Shank adapter. That's all. Well, let's have a. You see, you've got all of these. So the bonus feet set. So the shank adapter. I, I've not even got to that stage wow. with it. You know, these are the things. So I don't know. So you get high shank and low shank machines. I don't know if that is adapting the height of the of the shank so that well, you can then fit different. Like we had the Westerly rulers on the other that's, day. That's the thing. But I would have to double check yeah. that. I would have to go away and double check that because well, I've never got to that stage of needing it. Well, funnily enough, I I needed it for my machine and I had to pay like 50 quid for it. And no then way. on top, yeah. So, so what did it do? So basically, it it brings it. So then I can put other people's um, other people's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so wrong. Sounds I mean, very disgusting. Horror movie. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it, it comes with cordon fruit, applique fruit, binder fruit, but also open to free motion quilt. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it comes in with button saw on foot uh, and also braiding foot, concealed zip foot, another one that I had to buy. So, you yep. know, it's really things that even as a beginner, I have to already spend so much money. Probably I have already spent 200 pounds in extra feed that already comes. And I literally, I think it's for four feet, I spend 100 pounds mm. extra. And mm. you have got already all those uh, additional ones. 
then you have got the stage guide food as well you have got the white table that comes a standard as well cleaning brush you have got of course the, uh, the ripper sim ripper uh, you have got so many elements you have got a needle set uh, you know we could go like you were saying Natasha we could go on and on and on uh, with uh, these you, you could because it's not it's not as just simple as saying it does just one thing if you're a quilter it's fabulous it's got a massive throat for your quilts you're going to get everything through there if you are a dressmaker you've got all the different stitches that you need for your dressmaking um, it's got stitches for I do decorative stitches on this it does the lot and um, and it just it just goes on and and that's just it I haven't discovered everything this machine does yeah. it, because and I've had it for nine months now still not discovered and I use it every day every day that's what i mean it's a machine that you are going to continually grow into and also the other thing i found is like the joy of sewing it very much depends on your machine and enjoying your machine and the project you are doing for instance that you are doing so quickly and easily is it's because you are enjoying it but also because you have got the right tool to do i it. look forward to using my machines and that's that's what it comes down to and believe you me I've I've had all sorts I've worked on all sorts and and this this was the one that I enjoyed the most so this was the right. one I went with. so going back to the treat bag the Halloween so you are gonna kind of doing a uh, top stitch now? so yeah I'm just gonna top stitch around I tend to always start on a seam so that I know where I'm gonna get to I've taken the extension table off um, and then just roll that seam so that you're right on that edge and then round you go and as you're going around, of course, what you're doing is you are putting those handles in again. You're just reinforcing those handles as you go around. But when I said it's a quick little make, you're going to be making it. I've got loads of... Um, loads of the odd charm here and there that I've got left from a charm pack perfect for this make of so yeah 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 you know you don't always use the 42 charms yeah. and if you've got any left and they're just like me sat in a box somewhere going I might use that for some time some time just get them out and put them in here it doesn't matter if they're mishmash or whatever but that is oh you could use it. Could you use, for instance, like I keep every single piece so for a collection and I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. Then you can do like random patchwork, then cut it into five yeah. uh, inches squares and then yeah. how full And then you that? just, you can hand stitch, uh, blanket stitch, or if you'd wanted to, then you could put your, your little pumpkin onto one of those or save it for something else or, you know, whatever you want to do, you could hand stitch it on or if you'd wanted to machine stitch it on, you could do it or you can glue it on, whatever you want. But that, that's how fast and easy it is. And now, of course, that machine can also uh, stitch a na uh, uh, alphabet, right? And yeah, yeah, You yeah. could spell, for instance, if you have got a child, you could have each one with their name Absolutely. Uh, stitch into their And you can create pumpkin. your own stitches as well. Um, because you can amalgamate the stitches on there so you can do like a couple of stars and then their name and then another couple of stars or a car or whatever it is that's on there you know you can you can create all of those you can save them in the memory so that you can come back to them so it's really great if you're having to name lots of school uniforms and stuff like that as well because you can you can do that and you know that you've got your stitch saved so if you're if you have to come away from a project and come back to it you can save a stitch that you've created yourself you can just keep adding those stitches on it's pretty awesome I wouldn't bring you rubbish. No, I know you don't. <laughs> uh, we, you, we know that you Not have got you like quality and quality starts here with the gorgeous jolly wells you have got in gorgeous beautiful soul batik fabrics uh, now you have got two options if you go for the dark over one or the uh, except for the navy all three other colors are soul batik so that is the darker option the lighter one the only the two blues here that you can see are soul batiks then the navy and the gray is uh, of course plain planes in here gorgeous card quality you are going to get four half meters in either option the light or the dark and of course in you are getting your pattern your instructions and of course you are getting your instructions instructions pattern and templates included in here and now of course they are by Janet Claire one of the UK leading I would say uh, the designers of quilts and I'm going to show you the amazing patterns as well in here now 
I love first that you have got like a diagram, and then you have got a kind of what we call a styled uh, picture in here of the finished sample. And of course, you have got the instructions on how to do it. Let me put from the front. Like they say, start at the beginning, going through the middle, and then end at the end. And that's how the instructions go. And of course, I'm just going to put it and they're double sided as well. Beautiful instru instructions as they are. Also, you are getting the pattern and the templates as well. Now, if you want to go for this, remember you have got two different options the light and the dark. The dark being the one that has got the great soul boutique in. Now, 855-686 is your item number. Uh, 34 pounds and 99 pence is for the fabric and the pattern and the instructions however you may have already the gorgeous fabric so you wanted to just the pattern and you can have just the pattern if you wanted to but with bundle web as well so perfect for the applique over half a meter of the bundle web is included perfect for that gorgeous weld action now of course if you wanted to have it in the different colors that's what you can that's that's what this kit uh, allows you to do for pounds and 99 pence is the price 9797 is your item number now elephant applique now of course the trunk going up is to receive all the joys the blessings from uh, the uh, the cosmos basically and i love that because you have got the stars in here how gorgeous is this for uh, you know a little one a room and like something that you can do for uh, for your projects for your kids your grandkids or you know just like me just nephews and nieces now of course you have got the beautiful rainbow here now that is what you would put maybe you have got at home a rainbow fabric maybe you have got the scraps maybe you have got the right you know the quilt that you have made and you have got some leftovers that you want to incorporate that is what this pattern is about you have got the instructions on how to create it the template both facing either side of of course of the for the applique you have got bond web and the gray the elephant gray for the pattern now the all the project products are today they are dispatched from the fifth all the brand new today's are dispatched from the 15th of october oh wait just over every week I'll and you can see here get them out sooner if i can of course no, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, always Natasha, under promise, over deliver. Absolutely. That's exactly what I said in the meeting. Uh, I was like, I'll get them out as quick as I can, but just bear with me. Right, so you have got here uh, the uh, templates as well. Now, of course, you can make it into a gorgeous pill, um, pill, um, cushion, or you can do it into a bag, a tote bag, and look at that. And I love how you could have, I love that idea of the day on one side and the night on the other one. And it's just so cool. If you have got a little one, do that for you. And that, oh, yeah. Uh, elephants and rainbows that is something uh, special 15 pounds and 99 pence for that one now of course Halloween is coming up and doing something a little bit um, different a little bit beautiful a little bit funky and a little bit fun is this it, it and it's definitely what it is is a lot a very 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 quick and allows you to of course to put treats to put presents in it to make a project that then you can change the fabric and then you can make it into any occasions now <laughs> there is a, talking about there is a ghost here today yeah. the ghost of uh, you know well anyway uh, is it uh, because well you know the poems about the ghosts um, from Edgar Allan Poe anyway so we have got here the Tim Holtz the beautiful uh, beautiful fabric you are getting one eighth of this gorgeous fabric I love the handwriting I love the you know kind of oh it is spooky and then we have got an one eighth of K facet is the jungle, uh, the jumble, jumble, not jungle, jumble. And then of course we have got uh, the uh, one eighth of the black one. Now you have got instructions in here, and I have to say I have Natasha's instructions are so professionally done. I adore them. Very the design of it clean and simple but yeah. so clear and the quality of it even the pa it's not paper it feels like more card than, 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 than pa paper and that's what you need if you want to do things time and time and again and not something as quick and easy as to make this um, of course if you have got instructions it's going to be quicker and easier but not only that you are also getting the of course the pumpkin as well and the fact that you can do them quicker and easy means that you can do loads of them in different colors as well 
well. Uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 059855 is your item number. And let's go for a set of two uh, gorgeous patterns. Again, you are getting the nesting tidy. And let's look at the pumpkins now. You Did can you do hear Molly when we were prepping? And oh, she yes. said that she'd been into a little boutique place in Andor just yesterday, and she'd seen pumpkins like this for fourteen ninety nine each. Well. That one was about twelve pounds, apparently. So that, that's what he, she said. Uh, and then I think the larger one was a fourteen, fifteen pounds. But that's you get it. three sizes in the templates. Oh, wow! And the little one is a is a pin cushion size. Or, and then you also get instructions as to how to make your template if you want to make a big one, like you could do a door stopper yeah. or something like that. So I yeah. would I would definitely put uh, the bugwheat um, lavender oh, or yeah, uh, sandalwood that you have got in, which I adore. Uh, to do something like this because then again, or also you know those things that you put what is the smell that we put in wardrobe so uh, lavender lavender as yeah it keeps yeah. moths away so exactly that's uh, yeah so imagine to have that but that's got a cinnamon stick as the yeah as the bit so yeah so it already has a little scent about it anyway because it's got that cinnamon stick on it so he's fabulous i adore it and to be honest i'll tell i say Paying twelve pounds and fifteen pounds, I would consider it because it's the time. You know, it, you think about the fabric and everything, so it's not crazy expensive. But if you can make it for eleven ninety nine, you're getting the templates not only for the pumpkins, so you can do that and maybe sell them at twelve and fifteen pounds. <laughs> yeah, you've got both patterns for eleven ninety nine. It's not just one; it's it's both patterns there. So, you know, generally we sell out our patterns at five ninety nine at Natasha Make. So when you're looking at things like the, the bag, you know, five ninety nine of that at least is instructions anyway. So, you know, and, and again, with the, with the elephant and things like that, all of those instructions, they're all clear. We do pride ourselves on having nice, clear instructions that are good quality that you'll come back to year in, year out. You might not make it all straight away. You might want to come back to it at a later date. Uh, then you absolutely can. You know, someone will say, oh, you're crafty. Can you make a diddle -a And you go, oh, yeah, no, I've got that pattern. So let's have them on great quality that's going to last that you can dip in and dip out of and come back to time and time and time again. Now, I have a question. Um, a just a general question. How, uh, what sort of interlining or uh, wording have you used here? It's entirely up to you. I've just used some offcuts from a quilt. Okay. So it was, so just, it was just normal wording. You can use H640 if you want to use a fusible one. Um, it's entirely up to you. And again, if you, you can use a firmer one if you want them to be more rigid. But I like the fact that you can just fold them over. I mean, I've got... Yeah, I've got all sorts of stuff in, a, in an even bigger one. I decided to size up an even bigger one over here. They're easy. Once you get going with them, you're just going to absolutely, hopefully, oh, love them. Oh, I love them. Uh, 11 99 is the price for both of them, the pumpkins and the tidy. 172712. Now, one of the things that are incredibly busy always is the pressing mess that uh, Natasha brings us. Now, I know that, as a, you know, they, this, this picture that it says, well, it's a rectangle. It looks almost like a TV without, <laughs> you know, yeah, images. Yeah, yeah. So you can only get this colorway with me. I had them specially made. Um, they are made with the felt that is actually underneath. You know, on, on collars, yeah. the felt that is, is just, I'm just about to press onto it actually. Ah. So it's just underneath my whales right now. Uh, but it's, it's incredibly thin and people worry, oh, it's incredibly thin. You know, when we see woolen, wooden pressing mats, they're really thick. Well, yeah, and they smell of sheep. This doesn't. This is incredibly, incredibly um, flat thin but it's really 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 handy so the dressmaking show that we had earlier you can drape these these are used by the tailors on Savile Row and they last and last and they get handed down from master to junior to apprentice they get handed down so there are 90 year olds using these on Savile Row and it's the it's the kind of felt that's underneath on the dress on the dress uniforms that the Queen uses that's the felt oh. she uses the same felt so it's top top quality stuff absolutely top quality stuff but what it means especially if you're dressmaking you can drape it over um, things like your pressing ham and stuff like that and and you can get that great seam because the seam is is everything in dressmaking but with with um also with your quilting the seam that you will get is phenomenal and it will just be so flat and um, whereas some patterns will call for and this is what i found certainly where some patterns will call for a scant quarter of an inch you can just do it on a normal quarter of an inch because it is so crisp 
Okay. And what that means a scant... Uh, so a scant quarter of an inch is not quite a quarter of an inch. It's just like a little bit over because it's going to be a bit tight and you need a, like a true quarter of an inch, but the fold... Yeah. So just go a little bit skinnier than a quarter of an inch. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's, that, yeah. that's what yeah. we mean by scant. Right. Of course, uh, and we have got two different options. You have got that, well, uh, two uh, different item numbers as well. The uh, smaller one is 43 by 30 centimeters, which is roughly a, a nay three, I think, size of it. Uh, if you want to go for that, 869957 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. I can show it once I've pressed me well. Okay. Wings. All right. <laughs> yeah. And, and the but I've, you know, it's being useful yeah. underneath there. And that's the other thing, of course, is that it traps the heat. So I use mine on top of my cutting yeah. mat. That's entirely up to you. But I do, and it, you know, because it contains that heat. And, and people are like, you do what? But you put your hand underneath afterwards, and it's still, mm -hmm. it's still okay. Yeah. Now, I've, uh, I've popped these whales where we need them. And we, if we get time, then I'll show you how to be. You basically just trace the pattern onto your yeah. bonder web, attach your bonder web to your fabric, and cut it out. Um, and then you place them on here. And it is then just a matter of then running your iron over. So bond a web, few seconds, um, and that's and that will be it. So Janet Clare is renowned for her raw edge applique. So raw edge is where the, the edge is left. But yeah. if you're going to be washing this, because let's face it, five and six year olds and small people, if this is <laughs> that's where this is going, um, you know they spill stuff, they drop stuff, they're grubby. Um, and my son's just started playing golf and he's oh. always muddy when he comes back from that but so if this is in the car and he's not i always keep a quote in the car for them to snuggle oh. under um then this is it has to be washable so you can leave it like this you can absolutely leave it like this and that's absolutely fine and the bonder web will do its job but if you want to do a blanket stitch around the edge then I'll show you how to do that and I also wanted you to show you this because this is the very last thing I'm doing on the squirrel I will then just stitch the buttons on for the eyes now the bonder web does it come with a complete kit um, no it doesn't so if you because lots of people have some yeah. anyway uh, so it was it just it but if you do want it with just the pattern and the bonder yeah. web Definitely. then then you can Okay. Um, but it is, you know, it is kind of readily available, but um, yeah. it just, we just gave you options, yeah. and there'll be an Absolutely. option in there yeah. that's, that's right for you somewhere. And so we quilted the, the quilt first, and, and again, if you are starting out, this is such a great beginner's quilt, because you don't have to do straight lines, just wiggle along a bit. Yeah, it's all yeah. okay. The so wave. it's the perfect, it's the perfect quilt to start off on. And I'm ashamed to say that I have had this pattern for five years, and I've only just got around to it. <laughs> um, it makes me feel so much better. Yeah, we all have those projects that we keep meaning That's to do, funny. and I just f happened upon it in the cupboard the other day, so why have I not made this? It's spread Especially now that I've got all of my creative grids and stuff like that which make the cutting so much easier because this is just cut in strips and you get all of the cutting instructions which I can show you in a moment um, and that's it so if I wanted to leave it like that and just sew on the buttons for the eyes then I absolutely can if I want to go around and this is what I have recommended with the elephant um, is you'd get all your quilting done first and then put the elephant on top and then you um, Ah, what's the word? Blanket stitch. That's the one. Went from me there for a moment. Uh, you can just blanket stitch then around the edge. But this is a really super easy one to blanket stitch around. So I'll just show you what I would do with a blanket stitch on this. So on your machine, do you, shall I turn this around so you can actually see which one the blanket yes, stitch is? Definitely. Yeah. I don't oh. know if, how you would be able to see. How far around do I need to? All the way around. You yeah, got it. Oh, there, there. He's got it. Okay, so. I love um, that screen. How clear it is. Well, yeah, but I can turn the color up or down. Oh, I can turn really? the contrast up and down, and I can also turn the light under here up and down as well. Um, yeah. Because you know, when we come in here, the directors always ask if I can. Can you just turn that light down? And um, one of our. Um, yeah, there you go. One of our um, floor, lovely floor crew came yeah. across with some sticky tape to stick over. I was like, no, ah! no, 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 no. 
This one has the technology <laughs> that you just turn yeah. the light down, dim the lights, dim the lights, and you do get a stylus with it, so you don't have to use your finger. Um, and then, and so I can change the screen and I can change that. But that's that's the thing. But I mean, she made the assumption because every other of sewing course. machine that comes in, they have to stick a bit of sticky on the light to, to dim it so that it's great for the cameras. So you know, bless her. <laughs> but yeah, so these are all your different options. But the stitch that we're going to use, so if I just clear that, clear, 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 or go back, there we go, um, is here. And this, you just press it to select it, no problem at all. And if I wanted to go through, you just click where you need to go. And if you get stuck, either press clear or go back. It's really, really easy. And if you have kids around that press buttons, ask me how I know, uh, then you just lock off your screen there and they can't touch stuff. Oh, amazing. That's, that's important. Right, right, it's really yeah, important. It's um, and you can actually tune it in so that it will tell you how much bobbin you've got left. I mean, I've just changed my bobbins over, so it's not going to click into that, but you can do it. So that if you're doing lots of quilting, yes. you don't have to play, as I do most times here, what I l lovingly call bobbin chicken. Bobbin? Did you, did you ever play chicken in the road with kids? Yeah, it's like bobbin chicken. It's seeing how, how far you can get before, how close you can get to the end without actually, actually running out. Uh, in my world, that's what I call it. Yeah. It's not a thing and don't run around in the road for goodness sake. <laughs> Uh, right, uh, so what are you going to be doing? The blanket stitch to the... Oh. So the blanket stitch, so I'm going to turn the... Um, actually, no, I'll keep it on, on that, but just, just check before you go uh, what sort of length and what have you. There you go, there's that lovely oh, pressing mat. It's just fab. And if you just need a smaller size, yep. either get the smaller one or fold it over, because yep. we all end up... Uh well, that's the thing. So I, this is why, I mean, I have to say the larger one is in my wish list because I love the idea of folding it over. Uh, I don't know well. if I can get any more of that felt to get any uh, more made. Okay. Oh, so, oh. you know. I need to. Well, that's in a good that point. I mean, if you, you can't don't get know. that color anywhere else. So. Okay. Well, <clears throat> can no I go pressure then? <laughs> or anything, but, you know. <laughs> so, again, you know, this, this isn't the world's most enormous quilt, so it's a really great size for a beginner, and you're just, you're just straight line stitching with this. That's all you're doing, um, and all you need in terms of a ruler, which we'll get to in a minute, um, is one of those. Yeah. The, if you've got a stripology, yeah. like I had this cut out in under 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm not Because, sorry. you know, because yeah. of the creative grids, yeah. but... And of course, the creative grid, the ruler that Natasha was talking about is the six and a half by uh, 12. 24 and uh, 24, a half. 24, 24. What happened there? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> It's slow, it's slow. Anyway, uh, six and a half by 24 and a half. And then, of course, there is other options. This one is again on my wish list. The one that I have got from Creative Graphs, apart from the medium astropology, is, of course, is the six and a half by 12 and a half. Bottom of the screen for the smaller one. Uh, now, one of the, why is so helpful, uh, Natasha, the, um, the Creative Graphs one? The, what, the, what, what, sorry. The, the rulers. Why are the creative grades are, in your opinion, that amazing? Oh, the best. <laughs> They're absolutely burn on the best. And I wouldn't be here without them. I've said this before many, many times. Every time we bring creative grids, there is no way that I would be on here pre uh, presenting and demonstrating if it hadn't been for creative grids. Because I used to be absolutely terrified to cut. Because if you can imagine, and I'll turn it around here, if you've got fabrics um, on your cutting mat, you've got fabric on there, and it's slippy, it moves around all over the place, and that is dangerous. You've got something with a blade in there, and it's slipping around all over the place. The worst, you, well, the, the, the best is that you will miscut the fabric. The worst is that you cut yourself. And that's not okay. You know, I, I need these hands, they're kind of useful. <laughs> so, but you turn this around and look at the difference. Right? Yeah. It's safe. And that means that you can, I won't cut this because this is my cutting mat, but uh, my pressing mat. But look, so all of these inbuilt, you can see all of these opaque bits. There you go. If I catch the light on it there, all of those are an inbuilt grip. Now, other rulers, you have to buy grips and stick them on and try and get them equally spaced so that if they're dots, they don't wobble the ruler. And it just it adds on a cost. 
buy this in the first place, you won't have that cost, but you will have a ruler that is safe and secure and easy to use. And that's the thing. So then you don't waste fabric, you don't waste your time, and you don't hurt yourself. And also, they are so incredibly clever. So on this side, as a quilter, you use two measurements all the time, a half inch and a quarter of an inch, because you're going to sew a half inch, uh, you, you'll sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but half an inch is another one that you use. So you'll see on here that this side, that inbuilt grip, is to a half inch, and over here, a quarter of an inch. And if I spin the ruler around, you'll see that all of the white markings here give you a whole inch. Yep. Now, I'm a metric girl. I was brought up in the era of, of centimetres, and so inches, pfft, I've had to learn. So when it's an inch and a half, I have to really search for it because my eights timetable was my worst timetable. Um, but if I spin it around, what you'll notice is actually I've got those inch and a half marks on there. I'm not searching for them. I'm not miscutting fabric because I was out by an eighth because it wasn't clear. It's on there. And this is the only set of rulers. Now, I don't know if people have copied since, but certainly they were the first people that had this spin around technique because creative grids are quilters making for quilters. So they understand your needs. They understand what they want. And they understand the fact that you want to be safe. You want to be accurate. You don't want to waste your time. You don't want to waste your fabric. You don't want to waste your money. Um, so that's I was very, very lucky to find these early on. I don't think I have any other ruler other than Creative Grids because I won't. It's not safe. Well, for of course, and that uh, safety. I mean, I, I I love them. I have got from other manufacturers, and I like them as well. But this one is the ones that I tend to grab the most because yeah. of that safety as yeah. well. All right, if you want to grab them, uh, you can. Uh, three two five four two zero is the item number for the longer one, the twenty four and a half inches in length, uh, twenty three pounds and ninety five pence. If you wanted a shorter one, the one that is six and a half as well, but twelve and a half in height, the bottom of the screen at uh, seventeen pounds and ninety five for that of course I was going to say do you know why the 24 and a half inch is such a great one to start off with why because so let's take a piece of fabric here yeah, it's we have got seconds. 44 inches salvage to salvage but fold it in half and if you want to cut a strip which you'll be doing for this quilt you've got enough space to put your rotary cutter on there off and off there and that's why thank you so much thank you. <laughs> Oh, she's very powerful, Natasha. <laughs> right, we took her at Take after the break, uh, then tremendous stamp painters, and then a stamps away uh, one day special at four o'clock. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody.
make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself to Leon Hajanda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products, which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Um, it is marvellous to have your company. Um, now, we had a very busy first hour um, this morning. It was absolutely flying. And I am not surprised. For starters, incredible product, but incredible guest. It's our lovely Sharon. And thank it's you. so nice. Well, thank you. It's a shame. I don't know if we can see Sharon's shoes, because they are <laughs> quite fabulous. Hold on. Hold on, we're getting in to have a look at the shoes. Oh, yeah, look at those. <laughs> The fabulous. It was like, wow. I mean, that's quite, it's quite dark under there, but not those shoes. They light the way. <laughs> Neon. The, the fabulous. The fabulous, Thank our you. Sharon. Um, we had such a nice hour. I love, and I said in the first hour, I love watching work because it, it, I just, I, it's learning the possibilities and it's learning yes. the key points on how to actually build something so it's not scary. Yes. And Bang I love on. that. It, it's finding a different way to deal with something that if somebody said to me calligraphy, I'd stand back and say, whoa, I'm not sure I'm good enough to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I can look at these things and think, now, hang on a minute, what can I do with it? Yes. Yes, exactly. Because, I mean, we are talking about quality products. Yes. Kiritake, a brand that have been going for years yes. and years and years. And, I mean, they have been so respected for the rink and for the nib qualities. Yes. Um, and, but, yeah, it... it it would be an absolute, uh, it would be criminal if they were only in, right, you can only do calligraphy, you can yes. only do this. That would be horrendous, because, I mean, these are artist quality products, aren't they, at the end well, of the day? Well, exactly, and I don't actually have a lot of respect for things that you can only use in one mm. discipline. I think that we need to be able to use them across multiple disciplines, because yeah. a lot of people like you and like me do lots of different things. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. want a different product for each different thing, necessarily. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and we've got it here. We They're have. well cool. Yeah, we have. Um, right, I will try and trick down this counter. Oh, we won't do as much of it for you, so we can get back to Sharon Dead quick. But the first collection is the Inktober. Now, if you have missed out on Inktober, I do love the, the concept of this. I love seeing people's work. I love that people are encouraged to just pick up a pen. I mean, you don't need to share it on social media. It's absolutely up to you. Um, there's loads. I like that there's prompts, because I think a lot of the times you haven't got a clue where to no, start. No. So to have so many prompts available, and it's literally just going, have a sketch every day, because obviously, 
the more you try, the better you're going to get. Yes. It's just obvious, isn't it? And the more you, you do have a go, it inspires you because then you start thinking, well, wait a minute, I could do this or I could move this onto that yeah. and I could add a bit of this. And this is where you want to be. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So obviously that's what Inktober is about, but these pens are ace, literally not just for Inktober, obviously. Uh, let me take you through. Now, I know... I, yeah, I love the name. Um, I know that has been one of your favourite yep. favourites, hasn't yep. it, Arshad? Yep. Tell us why, because I mean, I am I'm with you. I never this is ever, such a cool pen. I never want to live without one of these again. <laughs> I love the brush pen on this end that you're demonstrating now. That nice you can get the pen. finest stroke through to something that's quite thick. Yeah. And then here you've got absolute precision. And again, I've been playing with that in the break. Yeah. And I've discovered, and I'll show you, that you can get really, really fine fine marks down to a thicker mark Amazing. and they're that versatile see I this I mean I was playing with him first hour I won't play play again but just watching that whoops watching that move I mean can you see so look at its flexibility look at the ability to allow that pen to just glide That's so you get it. that isn't that beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. yeah I mean when you're doing your brush lettering of which I am you know definitely trying to pick up but it allows you to just flow through beautiful and then that nib like you say you can reel it but you can still get a little bit see and this is the thing with brush lettering you make it your own don't you yeah as and, you were saying, yeah. you do everything so you make it your own. So if you can't do the brush lettering that's out there, you can do your own version of. And that's my... That's oh. beautiful. Hello. And that's a little thing. But in it interesting? You can do your own thing. See, that's my Halloween hello. Because do you not think it looks a little bit halloween -y? Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ignore the other scribble a bit, but that's my hello. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's your first pen. That is definitely Sharon's favourite, favourite. Yep. Oh, I need. I didn't go upstairs, you know, and I should have gone upstairs. It's because I went, to, yes, I know I should have, because I went to get warm instead and had a little nap. Isn't that pathetic? But, I <laughs> um, but two thirds of the stock has gone. You need to check your baskets out. Now, the next one. We've got some beautiful fine liners. And this one um, is your, your flexible fine. How interesting. So, um, uh, and there is behind the instructions, you have got instructions. I, I see what it means because that again Absolutely. has got that beautiful that flexible fine, name. fine tip, but a little bit of pressure. It's a kind of cross between a fibre and a brush pen. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Oh, I do. Gorgeous. Love that. Oh, this is such a good set. She's of playing pens. with my pens, everybody. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> they're my pens. <laughs> Do you know what? They're addictive, are they? Yes. Oh, they're addictive. Yes. Now, this one, Sharon, obviously, every, you, you have to have fine liners Absolutely. within your collection, don't this, you? This, to me, is eyelashes and cat whiskers. Yes, yes. That's what that is. Absolutely. It is all those teeny tiny little details, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And you can see, again, just how detailed and and the really fine detail. Get into get there, in there and get the nitty gritty of the, yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. You've yeah. then got now, Sharon, this. What an absolute yep. fabulous idea. I oh, know, I oh, know. So, so your brush pen, but that's yep. actually got your white ink in there. And it's really, really opaque. That will cover, I, I haven't actually found anything it won't cover yet. Isn't that cool? I it mean, needs a good shake. You've got um, a little ball in there to shake it. Yeah, and, and you can um, hear it. Can you hear it? Because it's, so, it's so thick. You can hear the fluidity yes. of it. For sure. Oh, it's yeah, I can hear the ball. fab, isn't it? Yeah. And you just, yeah. it's like, the only way I can liken, what I can liken that to is painting with Tipex. It's yes. that kind of quality, quantity, yeah. you know, the density. But, uh, oh, oh, man, that is such a Fabo, good... Fabo, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is well Highlights, cool. if you want to so write cool. on black paper like Leone here. Oh, you can't go wrong, can you, Luke? It's well good. Well Flexibility good. Flexibility of a nib. Fine, fine marks, like the dots that you're putting in there. Yeah. But then, then you can do that. bit of pressure. And, you've and got that you can move. move it with water, everybody, as well. So you can go into that while it's still damp. That and everything so we've got nice. today is pigment. So really, yeah. really gorgeous. Yeah, so it's rich. permanent, it's acid free, it's got everything going for yeah. it. You you know, artists out there, you can use this with impunity and not worry at all. That is such a good pen. Um, we've also got obviously your gorgeous Winker Stella. 
again, such a cracker, isn't it? I know, it? I know. The Wink of Stella. So this is just going to give you that flash of sparkle, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that bit of twinkle. Oh, we love this one. And Look. this one's clear. So it means, so, and like you used it over the beautiful alcohol pens, and that just looked amazing. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing. Obviously, you won't, when it dries, it, you will literally only see the sparkle. It's just magic. I oh, know, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, you need <laughs> this in your life. Look it's, at that. Look at that sparkle. Like diamonds on paper, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just fab. It's fab. Um, you've also got cardstock as well. So you have got a pack of 10 sheets of white card. It's been really busy, is this collection. It's only 29 now. Oh, I should have gone and checked. So it was an idiot. Um, yeah, how much has gone? 70. 70% 70 of the stock has gone. Please check your basket out. 824-045 is your item number. That white pen. Gosh, I need that in my life. Okay, so the next one that was really, really busy. Um, this collection, Wink Costella again. Now, this one, obviously, this Wink Costella, different nib, isn't it, yeah. Sharon? Yes, it's it's almost like a rollerball. It's um, it's precision work. Again, you it's hard, so yeah. you can get in there, you can colour with it, you can write with it. Yeah. Um, and as I said earlier to everybody, don't write your Christmas cards with yeah. it, everybody. These are a bit too good for They're that. They're a bit too nice, but um, I would. They are just <laughs> rummy. And the thing is, like, yeah, they are beautiful because you can do... You can actually do a decent surface area, but yeah, for little dots and squiggles, but uh, you'll yes. get the colour, but you'll also get that sparkle. And they just shine. Yeah, they are beautiful. Now, we have got to show you the colours, because this is such a good pack. You can get the smaller pack, which essentially is that, that side. You can get that for £10 if you want that. But this has been the, the best um, selling. Um, I will show you as well, you're also getting three of your, your brush pens, um, and again, that's the same. So that's your brush one, whereas these are your um, your uh, your markers. Sorry, I can't think of the word then. But they're beautiful. So you've got that gorgeous glittery white, the red and the green. Let me show you um, the the lovely card that Sharon's done. So it's the ones down this side. Uh oh. So that's your your colours of your Winker Stella. Um, the the actual pens. Look at that. So it's oh. archival, you've got 100 years with all of this work. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that is amazing, isn't it? I think so. It, it's just... We're a, very lucky, aren't we? Yes. To yes. have these wonderful products. We really are. And it, I just, yeah, it's an absolute treat. Beautiful bundle, that one. Um, again, really, really fantastic quality. £29.94. pence. Approaching, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> approaching <laughs> half of the stock has gone. I love, do you know what? Do you know what? I know I didn't swear. Uh, 227433 is your item number. I didn't swear. I always love it when I don't swear. <laughs> it's such a bonus, in it? I love that. It's like, oh, thank goodness for that. Uh, I still, yeah, I can still come to work. Um, no. <laughs> um, next, now, I, Sharon, was using these in the first, um, the first hour. These are an alcohol marker by Kiritaki. So, again, you know you've got that brand. They are refillable, which I think is, yeah, a little bit cool. I, I mean, I love the lid, which is ridiculous, but I really like the lid. Um, it's a gorgeous design. But the, the way you, that you use them, I mean, they are a beautiful, again, a beautiful quality alcohol marker, aren't they? They are. Yes, they are. And you've got that lovely chunky nib. So that one allow you to do really good surface areas quick. That's right. And then look at the detail of that nib. So that is allowing you to get in yep. really nice fine detail. And it tells you on the pen which nib is which. So you're not fumbling about yes. with like some brands where you're opening the nibs yeah. to see which end you're actually dealing with yeah. and getting irritated by it all. So yeah. hey. No, really. Wee. Really, really handy and a really good colour palette. Um, you've got the colours that will blend together. You've got um, a grey in there, which is really handy as well. Um, yeah, it's a cracking set, is I that, think isn't so, it? Yes. Um, and £29.45 and pence is your price. I will show you the little um, the colour swatch. Uh, that we've got for you, and you can see they're really good, strong yes. colours. Yeah. yeah, they're lush. 
and uh, Sharon was using the cardstock that we have got in the first uh, collection as well um, in our Inktober collection um, now if you would like to get hold of those uh, 570230 is your item number now next delicious they do make you do that oh <laughs> they're just ridiculously beautiful are these two options now your first one this is stunning now and these little plates they come out and you were saying so these are the same size as like the proper Japanese they are indeed they're Japanese pens. Japanese pans oh. so you've got that heritage and that feel of authenticity there yes look at them mm they are gorgeous <laughs> and when you spritz them with water the mica starts to dance oh. and it all twinkles and glitters and oh my goodness it's wonderful that is so nice and I love that just in the palette they look fabulous don't absolutely they? You, you kind of almost want a massive palette just to put on your wall <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Because yeah. it's just the, oh, yeah. fab. Um, you could, and every now and again, you could take it off, spritz it, let it all move, and then put it back again. Indeed. <laughs> That'd be gorgeous. <laughs> um, now, so that's your first one. Um, so that's your starry colours, which is gorgeous. Um, and I will, I'll show you both in a second. And then you've got your beautiful pearl. Now watch, if I do that, look, there you go. Yeah, they are just gorgeous again. And I do, yeah, the palettes are fabulous. Then you can take them out. I like that because obviously, um, once you run out of one, at least you know. I mean, I'm not sure if they replace singles, but they probably do. Um, now, it's seventeen pounds ninety nine pence. Let me show you on the black card that Sharon's done. So the first one, when you put, doesn't rub off. Doesn't no. That's really That's important. important. Yeah. Because yeah. look at that. Oh, look at the way they dance. I waited until they dried and then tried to sort of scuff it with my hand. Yeah. And it, it really does stay where it's put because there's nothing more annoying than it coming away when, you, when you've put your work away in a drawer. Yeah. And yeah. you go back to it and it's gone. Yeah, no, that's all. Hopeless. Hopeless. Yeah. Um, and, but no, keeping those true colours is it's beautiful. It's important. Um, and then look at that that Sharon did. And the reason it, it sparkles is because it's absolutely crammed with mica. Yeah. And mica is the silica that is mined from um, marble. Wow. And uh, this, is, this is why you have that twinkle. It's all down to the refraction of the light through the particles. That's beautiful. How about that science That's lesson good, as that. well? That's got a <laughs> bit of science there, Sharon. <laughs> Cheeky bit of science on a chanda. Um, and look at that. So they're the pearl colours. And that is beautiful because it's kind of a wash over there just to give it that That's really right. You see fabulous. where I've got the blue there and I've just put the colour on top to see yeah. if it will show on a yes. darker colour beautiful beautiful um now if you do want to get hold of these only 17 pence and 99 pence 891215 is your item number absolutely gorgeous they're gonna last you ages because i bet you're only using a little bit i bet for the the horse i bet you didn't actually need to use much no, at, not all, at all did you? no no because that's no. the thing, because the coverage is just incredible. It is, it's very dense. I love it, absolutely love it. Right, see, look at that, 15 minutes, back to Sharon. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Did she do well, everybody? <laughs> Fantastic. Um, welcome to our next show. This is so exciting. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to paint a pussycat. But I wanted to show you a few things first. Let me clear the decks here because I've got stuff everywhere. With this lovely Inktober set that we have, how about thinking how you can use it for yourself and what you might do with it in a different way rather than actually um, writing with it. Yes. So here we have, let me lay that down here and I hope that you can see it. This was me journaling for oh. um, the Nature Journal week a That's couple of months so ago. Cool. And I've used the pens here. Um, as I said, I've, I have these pens at home and I've enjoyed using them. And these are fantastic. These three are fantastic for all of this kind of thing. Oh. So if you're an artist and you paint, it doesn't matter. So paint away, be happy. But then you can work into it afterwards with the very fine pen. Yeah. This one's fantastic for coming in for the darker areas and for under here. And with something like this, I used this end here. Let me see if I can find the right picture. 
Oh my gosh, your book is just amazing. Thank you. I use this one here to write my allium. And you see, this is the point. I'm no good at beautiful, beautiful calligraphy, but I want my writing to look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. used my, this for my allium, the, the brush Which tip end, fabulous. and then a brush with water and come in and you just blur it and, you, and drag it. And you get this lovely effect. But I can also write what I want to write down here that, you know, this is the bit about the alley and what it is. And I've used the fine, fine brush for the details in here for the stamens. All oh, this gosh. thin, thin bits that and pieces. That is amazing. You Sharon. can use it for your um, Zentangle. Zentangle. I love Zentangle. And here, of course, I needed this pen to go in and to write all the bits and pieces. Yeah. This was found objects oh, here. Wow. So the writing is this and the bits on the feather. Yeah. And then, of course, you can use either this or this down here for the more definite work, for the Zentangle work. Beautiful, Sharon. That's Just this. use it to enjoy. Use it to enjoy. Now, we have been concentrating on um, painting on paper that is non, it won't move, it won't shift. Mm -hmm. And that's really important if you're lettering. So if you're using something like this, you definitely know that you want a paper that isn't going to bleed, it's important. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show you what happens if you want it to bleed. So I've put aside our beautiful paper that we have today and I wanted to show the artists amongst you and some of the crafters amongst you what you can do in a different manner. Cool. And here I have, this is just watercolour paper and it's actually got bits of twinkle on it and I'm not <laughs> sure whether they've fallen off my eye makeup or whether it's come, <laughs> <laughs> come from the bits and pieces. And what we're going to do here this afternoon is have a little play Aww. with this. And this is a Maine Coon cat. Fabulous. Um, a breed that was originally bred by Marie Antoinette, but they, they've they're very noticeable. You notice them because they have the long hairs, yeah. long hairs in their ears. They've got a longer muzzle, big eyes, and they look quite fierce. That so he's quite Halloween. -y. Yes, he's not designed to be a pretty cat necessarily. And I've drawn him out because we need a bit of speed today to be able to do what I want to do. Cool. So I hope you won't mind. If you want a drawing and you just ask me and I will produce one and pop it up on the Hochanda website so that, or their Facebook page and then you can have it, have a go as well. Fabulous. I want to start with these eyes and I definitely want to start with these pens here because I don't want this to move. I want it to go down and stay there. So I'm coming in and I'll tell you what I'm going to do everybody is put my glasses on <laughs> because then I will be able to see a little better for you. And all I'm going to do is come in here, I don't care about the pupil of the eye because I'm going to put that in very darkly later and then we can paint over, it doesn't Gorgeous. matter. And this is the thing, I mean, the alcohol pens, um, I remember when I first started um, learning about alcohol pens, and you know, we were really uptight about the type of card you used and stuff, but you're now using a watercolour card, and oh, yeah. it's, it's fine. It, sometimes you'll get just a different result, won't you? Yes, and the reason why is I actually want this to bleed today. I want yeah. to show you how these pens can work in a different way. Yeah. We know, we've seen this morning that we can paint with them, and they're beautiful, and they hold their place, but now I want to make it bleed. Yeah. But yeah. you see, I don't want these eyes to bleed, and this is why I'm coming in here, and I want to paint them in these pens, not with um, inks, yes, not yes. with anything else. And you've not with seen paint. already that beautiful blend. Absolutely. It's All you do is go to the previous colour yeah. and paint over. And don't think, again, I mean, Sharon's playing on watercolour cars, yet yeah, you've still got that gorgeous blend. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It will bleed a bit more. A bit now. It will bleed a bit more, everybody, but, um, you know, if you were working with marker pens, I'd avoid this kind of paper, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm coming in here, this is the darker yellow, and I'm using the darker yellow. Look at that. 
So that oh, bleeds yeah, our dark. orange into the dark yellow. And each colour, the band is narrower than the one before. So the dark yellow, you can still see it behind the orange. Fab. There you go. Yeah, that's so we'll a leave, Halloween cat there. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, isn't it? We're going to leave that alone for a little while, let it dry, and we'll move on to something else. Super. I want to take the brown, because this is another thing that I don't want to move and I don't want it to bleed. So this is the brown, and I want the wide point, this one. So I'm coming in here, and I just want to put shadow under his eyes. I want him to stand out. And now it doesn't matter if we have marks from our pen because these are all going to become part and parcel of our pussycat. Wonderful. I want to come in here under his eyes and I'm going to put some, just shatter the lines like that. Use the edge of your pen. So and that's it has fine. got that really nice firm nib so you can use the, the, the angle of the pen really well, yes. can't you? Yes, yes come down to give him a nose because he's got to have a nose and we need to just make that a little darker across through there and have you noticed everybody that pussy cats all have an M on their forehead if they've got markings oh, so yeah. you'll see that most cats have got that really I've known quite a few people who've called their cats moth because of that or a name that begins with an M because like of Mega this Mog. Isn't it just incredible? Yes, mug? I do. Aww. No, I didn't know that. I've never noticed. I'm going yeah, to have a little look. Mug. Have a yeah. little, have a little squiz. So I'm just going to do that, and then I think that I'd like to take the finer point and just pull some hairs out. So we're going with the float. The cheeks rounded. So come round it. Come round the cheek like this. You know when you're doing things like this. Sharon. Yeah, you're not like originally like when you decided, right, this is what I want to draw. Do you look at photos and everything so you can yes. see the cat yes. and get the idea of yes. the cat? Yes, absolutely. And um, I, I think I said on social media that if you're stuck for a picture, there is a, uh, a site, there's an app, and it's called Pixabay. Pixabay. So oh. here we go. It's called Pixabay. And on Pixabay, yeah. you can pick up photographs, hundreds and thousands of photographs that are all royalty free, so you can use them. Oh, that's and that's important. Yeah, that, that is, is important. To know because then, obviously, you've not got all this stuff all about the, if you no, have infringement. No difficulty, and, all that. and you're not going to get oh, into yeah, trouble. Because it can be a nightmare. Can't, can't it, it just? Yeah, that's so brilliant. Stay safe, Thank everybody. You. Yeah. Now, this pen, I love this pen. I'm sorry, eulogising about a pen. It, the feel of it, it's yeah. the feel of a brush in your hand because it's long, the balance is perfect. It sits beautifully yeah. with the wider part here and it is so versatile. Let me show you. On his top of his head here, if we come in and we introduce a little bit of that. I, love the noise. I can take water. <laughs> that lovely squeaky little noise. Look. Oh, look at that move. Look at that. Yeah. That's beautiful. And you know, it's not many pens you can do that with everybody. Yeah, that's love. It isn't. And I can actually take it off the tip of the pen. And that's coming out to pure grey. That ain't coming out to no, blue, isn't is it? No, isn't it lovely? Yeah. So I can do this and I can pull it. And I can do this. So what happens now if I come down my cat's face and I'm just going to use this gorgeous pen, pull it. If you press hard, lift, press, lift, press, lift, it will give you these long strokes yeah. from thick through to thin. And it is really satisfying it's to use, isn't it? You saying satisfying yeah. reminds me it's satiny to use. <laughs> it is. It feels like it. Mm. And down under his chin, this is wet. So look. Wow. Yeah, I can go nice. into the water now. And you see, if I was using any other kind of paper other than watercolour, yeah. A, it would cockle, yes. and B, I wouldn't get this beautiful flow of this pen. Yeah. So this is just another way that you can use it. Cats have this strange kind of inner ear thing going on here. 
this split in their ear. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? So we want to put that in. I want it really dark in here. I'm going to just lift it with the tip of it up to the top of the ear here. Beautiful. And I want that really dark now along here. But I don't want it hard like that. So if I come out, got a cloth. So come out, just dip the extra drip and then come up and bleed it. Beautiful. It don't reacts like that immediately, hard. doesn't it? Yes. And that, that's the one thing about inks like this. They just react to water. Yeah so exquisitely it just makes it so exciting yeah it's just gorgeous to watch it almost looks like smoke you know when yes. um do you know what i mean yes. you see that little that that's a really good way of describing it almost like a smoky trail she's a clever girl she is because she's dead right there look more cat fur i Yay. ask you sorry everybody and round here, I want, I want just a little bit of darkness round that side of his muzzle. So if I come in and I just bleed it away, if you don't want this, rinse, dab, come back and pull it away. And what we're going to do down here, everybody, I want to introduce some colour. Beautiful. Oh, and look how it moves in the water again. It's well cool. And then spray bottle. And I want to spray. And excuse me for a minute, I'll do this to camera, may I? Yes. Because then I can do that. Yeah. See, look and I can move. deliberately make it run. It and looks like it's got fir trees. It looks like fir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fir and fir trees, I can see trees. Yes. Um, yes. Miss Charlotte said, do you do workshops? Yes, online. If you love. She does. Yes. Oh, Sharon's got loads of online. Oh, that looks well cool already. Uh, yeah, oh, Sharon's got loads of online tutorials and stuff. So please look up Sharon on the Tons on, the Facebook on YouTube, and stuff. everybody. Yeah. Lots and lots of tutorials on YouTube if you'd like them. Yeah. Yeah. So please help yourself. That's fabulous. I want some markings down his face. And then, if you don't mind, everybody, I'm going to hand you back to Leone for a little bit whilst Amazing. this dries, and then we'll add some more. Amazing. Thank you. That looks so cool. I mean, that is such a... That, that's a, a cheeky Halloween cat, is that, isn't it? I like that a lot. Um, OK, can I just read these first, because these are lovely. Oh, Kay and Maggie. Are you lovely ladies? They said hello to Sharon and Leone. Loving the show. Um, just to say, we love the Gansey. Uh, Gansey Tambit, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, paints. Kay used them directly onto MDF for one of our carousels, and they have sent a picture. Wow, that's good coverage. Oh, Thank wow. you, ladies. Yeah, that's really nice coverage. Amazing. Thank you for um, for doing that, ladies. That's really lovely of you. Um, We've had a lovely email of Claire. Listen to this, oh, Sharon. She says, hi, Leonie and Sharon. I've already asked Matt to speak to Sharon um, to think about bringing her own stamps. But it'd be lovely if you could ask her on air. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, putting you on the spot on air. So basically, Claire wants you to do your own stamps, please. Yes. Um, I love it. If she did particularly, if she would draw some of her weirdos, please. Oh, I'd love to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yeah. Um, she says, I, I could watch Sharon all day. She's fun, knowledgeable, and I learn loads thank from watching you. her. Thank oh, you. Her and Leonie together oh, is a dream thank team. Thank you. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. Uh, thank you, wonderful. Claire. It is funny, you know, Claire, because while Sharon were working, and I've got a monitor, it's called the telly, that I can watch. And I'm literally just like this watching it. <laughs> Best show ever. I just get to chill out and watch it happen. It's ace. Uh, thank you for your email, studio at achanda.com. If you do want to email, share photos and just say, oh, Sharon, you're great. <laughs> um, now, <laughs> um, Inktober, this is really busy. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Now, you get in the car stock, which, of course, will work with a lot of the products on stage show, that red pen need you've then got the different fine liners and this is the interesting bit because you have got the different nibs you've got like, your traditional fine liner but then you've got that beautiful flexible fine liner which is lovely and then that white pen i mean that white pen is just divine it's so different and then of course the wink of stella that is going to give you bling it's going to give you a really nice sheen but you're really in control of that again it's not going to be shedding everywhere and it's not got any color it's not got shine to it as in it's not got a glaze um it's just got beautiful glitter encapsulated glitter stunning stunning then um, 
Yeah, Kiritaki, as far as I am aware, and I've known Kiritaki for years and years, they were the first people to bring out the glittery brush pens. I do believe. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of these, £20.99 pence is your price. It's a brilliant set of pens. 824-045 is your item number. Um, now, the Wink of Stella. Now, this is the big pack. So you are getting all those beautiful, glittery, gorgeous colours. You're also getting the beautiful brush pens. Seriously, this is a cool, cool set of pens. Um, and again, the colours. And the, you can use them for all sorts. Obviously, use them in your artwork. Use them in your mixed media. Use them in your happy planners. I know I said that last time. Maybe not the brush, because I think the brush will be too, it'll saturate your page a bit too much. But especially the markers. They will absolutely work in um, in your um, happy planners, and they are stunning. Twenty nine pounds, ninety four pounds. You're gonna have to excuse me for one second while I have a swig of water, coffee, just because I've got a tickle. Bear with. Um, now then, see, I just needed. I didn't want any no coughs. We don't want no coughs with these tickles, do we? Um, 570230 is your item number. Now, you've just seen these in both demonstrations from Sharon, the alcohol markers. And I love seeing the alcohol, alcohol markers used by um, an artist, actually, because us crafters use them, and it's nice to see them used in a different way. Um, and actually, the way that, you know, they were used um, before us lot got our hands on them. Um, brilliant, brilliant pens, refillable, um, and a gorgeous just vivid set of colours. I mean, these are striking colours. Uh, saving £13 there, 570230, and then those palettes. Oh, those palettes. Absolutely divine. You are loving them. Uh, yeah, I love them. They're, oh, this programme. Now, that's your pearl colours. If you want your pearl colours, 1799, <clears throat> And then you've got the stories. The stories are divine. Um, again, only £17.99. Such good quality paints there. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Tickle. It's it's just it's just um, too much talking, isn't it? Too much talking. It is normal for me. Okay, these are absolutely fabulous. They are your calligraphy pens, and as Sharon was saying, you can use pens for all sorts. Um, don't think I can't do calligraphy. They're not going to be for me. Um, Lettering is really interesting. There's a lot of different lettering that's absolutely. Um, uh, you, you can do it. You don't need to be a master at calligraphy. These pens are fabulous because you can blend the rings. I mean, that looks amazing, Sharon. And actually, it's it's actually quite easy to do, isn't it? Yes, very. I'll show people in a bit. It's fabulous. Yeah, fabulous. And the inks, I mean, the way they've actually they've, uh, put them together. So if I show you just one set, because you are getting all three sets, so all nine pens. And, <clears throat> oh, my throat has got a proper old tickle. No, it's got a tickle. So, the way they've been divided, um, you've got the three colours that match perfectly. And that'll give you, you can't really see them there, that's better. That'll give you such a beautiful blend. You can see you've got that big calligraphy nib, and then you've got that beautiful, um, and, well, actually, let me just take the lid off so you can actually see those proper, what I'm even trying to do. Let me show you proper. It's because I'm, yeah. Right, see? So you've got that wonderful chisel tip nib there. But then the other side, it is still a chisel tip, but it's really fine. And these, again, the nibs on these are just delicious, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're fab. Yeah. Please don't think I can't use them because I can't do calligraphy. You can, you can learn your own type of brush lettering, but obviously you can use them for other things. Now, your colour palette, so you've got your gorgeous cool, which is the, those beautiful sort of uh, bluey, bluey greys, which is gorgeous. You've then got those, um, all the, the purples and the, the sort of lilacs, which is just divine. And then you've got those really nice warm oranges, Yum. which I bet you're your Yum. Babes. <laughs> Um, saving five pounds on these, twenty-one pounds and ninety-seven pence. Eight five zero five two two is your item number. Next, um, right, we have got for you. Now these are divine, divine. If I just get, let me get, wrong one. Let me get the right one. Got the right one. 
So look at these, look at these. So you have got look at those. And the colours again, Sharon. I know, they're, they're lovely, amazing, aren't they? Aren't they're they? lovely. They're lovely. Very opaque, these metallics. So you can paint one over the top of the other and it will completely obliterate what's underneath. It's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely And again, amazing. you can use them on all different sorts of surfaces. So these are the one, aren't they, that you were chatting about earlier that will go on glass? Absolutely. You can, they will hold on glass and plastic. If you've got a book or a, a journal and you want to do the cover, these are the pens that I would use. See, I just think that's amazing. Yes. Um, you've got that really nice thick nib. You've then got the finer nib, which is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And let me just give you a little splash on black because have a little look at this. So, on your black card, look at that colour. And you see, with these, you know, with the other pens, we got the, the nibbed, um, I'd move. These are a good solid nib, which means both of those nibs. Look at that coverage. Look, how cool is that? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Ain't it beautiful on black? It's just so that's nice. Lovely. And it's almost got like a silver tone to that, yes, hasn't it? Yes, it has, yeah. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And obviously, they work be gorgeously on your white as well. So you just a little touch there. And can you see that? Look at those colours. Yeah, they're beautiful, beautiful. Uh, now, if you would like to get hold of those, they come with, oh sorry, just pop them back, um, so they also come with your um, your memory system writer, and let me pop it like that so you can actually read it. Now your writers, again these have got a beautiful, beautiful nib, and they, they feel really, um, a really wet ink, they don't are, they? Yes, which sounds they're ridiculous. very lush, and um, it's a brush pen, isn't it really, the nib on this I think. Let's get in it. And you can mix the again. colours together. So the, we've got the four primaries here, really. Yes. But you can um, mix them together on the paper and they will blend. I've also used these with water, so they're beautiful if you want to bleed them into water as well. Amazing. Yeah, yeah I bet they are. And because they're a pigment, I bet, yeah. again, that colour will absolutely yeah. flow. And you can see, look, they're a really nice, rich... Can you see just how rich and, and wet that ink is? But again, you can write with these. I like the fact they give you lots of variations to curate. Yes, yes. So it depends on the job that you actually want to yes. do. Something of everything. Yeah, there really is. Yes. So if you are using them specific, you've got you've absolutely got something for a job. But like we were chatting about before, mix that up experiment yeah uh, but yeah those colors are divine now if you do want to go for those ones um so you've got your gorgeous writer you've also got the writer but in the metallic please do not miss out on these they're absolutely divine uh, 19 pounds and 98 pence is your price there if you'd love to go for those uh 724 is your item number now last but by no means least um on these, sorry, did you say about Stemo then? I didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I no, just it, didn't hear you. I just carried on. <laughs> this is where I've got to correct myself because these are the pens that have the these brushes. These are the ones. Yes, and these are the pens that are... Sorry, are, you're miles away. I know, I right? You can't actually see at home, but <laughs> Leonie's absolutely miles I am, away. I am. I'm right. I'm near the other side of the studio. So I'm kind of guessing what <laughs> she's using. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I got confused as well. These, these are the brush pens, and these are the pens that you can use with water. Yeah. So they're fabulous, and yeah. you can blend and bleed them on the paper. See, and what? See, look at that again. Look at that floor. Oh. They are just divine. And what I love about them, you know, if you let it sink in, you make it darker and then you just pull it out. And you can almost lighten it just on one stroke, yep. can't you? Yeah. They're just, now obviously with these, these won't, you won't see these on your black. But, like you were saying, you can actually like start blending your colours and bleeding your colours. And look how they sit on top of each other. See, I will indeed tilt it. And actually, can you see again, you're drunk, bringing your colours together. So you're creating your other colour. This card, oh no, it's handling it. But look at how rich and deep that has gone. So you're proper blending your colours. And then with your nib, see that one's still got a bit of red in there. And look how cool it looks. Can you see the little bit of red? 
You can hold cool. with these as well as the calligraphy pens. You can hold the nibs together and you can join the colours on the pen itself and then bleed it in. So you're double you're double loading. Double whammy. Yeah. So literally just touch yeah. it on. Yeah. And then when you actually write, so I probably want to do it this way. I need to hold it at a different angle. And then where's my green? So you get that shading you see on the yeah. on the brush stroke. It's well cool. Anyway, I'm playing now, sorry. Just clean it I'm by utterly playing. wiping it. Yes. Do you know what, Sharon? I just get lost in this. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but isn't that the most wonderful <sighs> gift that you can have? The it's joy of being able to just I'm, lose yourself. And this I'm is what lucky. we're trying to offer to the people at home, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. It's just, oh, it's so addictive. Um, do you know what? If you do want these, they're lovely as well. Everything's just lovely. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Back in the room, Leona. Uh, Four nine nine eight zero nine, eight zero two. Um, now, our Sharon did send a picture in. Have a look at this now. Oh, I want to see these. Let me move. Oh, that's lovely, yeah, lovely. Sharon. These are pictures from one of my Facebook friends, and this is Jen Steggles, and she sent these to me at lunchtime today. Oh, sweet. And the the. She's used, that's right, she's using the Gansai Tambi here, this oh. lovely set of um, paints, the sparkly, twinkly paints. And this is what you can do with them, wow. folks. Wow, that looks so good. Uh, it's just, you know, and of, of course, you know, if you were to move that against the light, it would shine and twinkle as yeah. you did so. So that's just gorgeous. Now we've got another, haven't we? And this is Ooh. just an example, everyone, of the kind of work you can do with a pen if you're working with Zentangle. Ah, wow. Okay, that looks really so cool. So I love Zentangle. It's, it's one of those things that you can be really creative with. Yeah. So thank you for that, Jen. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, I know we've had a question about parchment from Sam. Are you, uh, Fran, was that Sam? Uh, Fran. Um, and she's asking about parchment. Have you had a go on parchment with any other products? I haven't, but if anybody would like to find me a piece, we can always do a scroll mm. on one right now, couldn't yes. we? The white pen, we could have a go. That's all we can do. With the white pen, I've no idea. But yeah, we can have a little go. Yeah, yeah, I'm always on the hunt. So some poor soul's just run away. To yeah. Mol Sorry. Molly's on it. She's on it. <laughs> She's, and I like it because she does right off she went. So yeah, we'll find out. Obviously, you know me, I'll have a play. Absolutely. Um, okay, Inktober is approaching limited. Um, yeah, you do need to check your baskets out for it's approaching limited stock. Twenty pounds and ninety nine pence, eight two four zero four five. Right, we've got about fifteen minutes left. That right, means okay. I can sit back and ten minutes let's, I forgot. Let's where. carry on with our furry purry, shall Yay. we? Let's carry on. The next thing I plan to do with this particular little critter, just while he's sitting there, we're going to use these beautiful starry paints because I'd like to put some of that in in his muzzle. And all I've got to do here is activate the paints. I'm going to use a just a spray bottle to get them going. I mean if you're going to sit down and work, do that before you start yeah. and then it will be ready and activated for you when you are ready. And I'm just going to come in and drop some of this. See, it takes a little while. So do that previously. If I'd have had my wits about me, everybody, I would have done that, wouldn't I? Beautiful. Professional. <laughs> yeah, huh. but... <laughs> Now run it into the black because again I want to just sort of put the twinkle through the black as well. Nice. So don't be afraid of mixing your colours up. So the yeah. black will move you see but this won't. This brown that we oh, put in because we yeah. know that they're permanent. So that's not going anywhere. And dab it on and just move it around. Beautiful. So don't I be frightened of it. That black, oh, that's so cool isn't it? It works so well with that beautiful it's lovely, gold. Isn't it? Yeah. So I just want to throw that around like this and just introduce that lovely gold colour. So that means that when we're looking at it, it will just shine. Beautiful. Just glitter and shine. All right? Yeah. You're fabulous. seeing, for, interestingly enough, I can't see that, but on the camera, you're seeing all those pieces of mica. So that's, that's yeah. an interesting thing. I also want to take these pinks and I'd like to pop some of this in his ear, bless him, because ah. pussycats do have these little pink ears, don't they? They do indeed. Paler, 
out of this side and here I'm going to reactivate this so yes you can move it again we can get that all on the go again beautiful and then bring the black across like this so that's super fine and then whilst that's still wet excuse me did I invite you back to the party <laughs> I'm going to use the fine nib and I want to pull this across and the reason I'm doing that now is because it will soften in the uh, water yes. rather than being too hard but I do want it hard as it comes out of his ears and this particular cat it goes everywhere so he has little furry tufts to his ears but because I'm a numpty I've let it go too far painting's gone too far off the paper ah. <laughs> I shouldn't have made it quite so high on the paper and then you could have seen it it would have been better now if you're at home this for me this would be okay for Leone I think but for me this is difficult to paint out this way I'm uh, yeah, yeah, handed yeah. yeah so if that's easier for you at home turn it upside down and then that means you're working yeah. in a manner that you're more comfortable and with. and you're only doing that so people at home are yes are okay I don't want, <laughs> want you to feel dizzy because yeah. I got the painting up yeah. every which way but so look a little bit of a curl on that some of it Lovely. and that gives you that twist as it comes through his ear you also want to be scuffing this so that we've got all these little hairs out through here cool. and I'm using this end because I don't want it to be fine 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 yet I mean this is fine enough yeah. but I don't want it to be too too fine we're going to keep the other one for yeah, the, you want to see for them, the whiskers oh. but what I do want to do is soften that so wet brush so wet dab and then come into it and nudge it Super. and that softens it yeah. do it again and that just softens it a little bit for you so that it's not too hard God, good yeah. stuff okay so we've done that we're looking at it now we're thinking to ourselves we need more out here okay and then we're going to go in and deal with his muzzle Gorgeous. but they're really shaggy moggies you know they're lots and lots of fur and so we want to introduce all of that out through here I'd like a little bit of shading round the muzzle and this time I'm going to take my lovely pen and I want to use it this way I'm coming down from his nose I ah, see so you're picking up from the pen this time I am and I'm just going to because I don't want too much oh that's really interesting so just through here but I do know through the middle of that I'd like it to be just a little bit darker just just like that that's it that's all we're going to do and then I want some little dotty spots there which generally are there where they have little whiskery yeah. hairs and I'm going to soften that the softening really works it makes all the difference yeah. in the world doesn't it and whilst that dries let's put his nose in because a cat's got to have a nose oh, you gosh, know yes and I'm going to use one of these pinks again and I want to just give him this little pink nose Aww. little pink nose and you'll notice that they often have little spotty dots on the top of their nose mm -hmm. that you're seeing Aww. and we want that division and we also want the darkness there of the nostrils oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm going to put that in and you'll think to yourself crikey that's a bit hard yes it is and so what we're going to do is take the brush rinse dab and then come in underneath and politely hello paint my name's brush <laughs> and I'm going to stroke you but only gentle just gently and it just just softens that edge and gives you that lovely nostril and if yeah. you've gone too far with a brush mark yeah. clean brush only damp not wet come into it and pull it back Right, don't yeah. keep pushing it out of course that right. is such a good it's tip. important and um, time check how much time three minutes right that's yeah, fine right. I can do it whiskers one two three one two three 
and whiskers run in rows on a cat's face. Like that. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to fill in the eyes. See, and we're once going them to eyes go in, that see, it's like power, isn't it? Oh. Hard line there. Press hard. Yeah. I want the thick line. And it and gives you intense colour, does that? Round them off. So same applies here. Hard, press hard. I want a thick line. Beautiful. That's so Pull it cool. down. He's wearing eye, sh eye makeup. A good strong eyeliner. Round it. That's it. And then we're going to be taking our fine brush. So now is the time to go to the fine brush because you're going to be looking at this and you're going to pull those whiskers out. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. And actually, I think we could go wider and bigger with yeah, those yeah. because I've got such a large cat here. So if I oh, yeah. pull it out like this... And they have whiskers, don't they, from their little chinny chin chins? Yeah. That's we have so cool. whiskers out through here. And they come from the middle of the eye, eye here. Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? All right, they? so just be aware that you're putting things in where you know you should. Yeah. And the other thing that we're going to do is take the white. And we're just going to make sure that that's working, because I wiped it before I put it away. Oh, yeah, I have to do that with this one here. I want to come in there. I think I did not shake that enough, everybody. Now, would it, because the black moves, will it make the black move a little bit as well? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Oh, that's too much. But it's all right, because if that's too much, everyone, what I'll do is wait for it to dry, yeah. and then I can go back in with the pen, and I can Quite overwork. Quite a isn't even too much. So, um, I, it's, we're nearly out of time, Sharon. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, the question about the, the vellum... Let me just show you, parchment, Wing Costella doesn't move, absolutely doesn't, so Wing Costella, absolutely yes, the white pen in this set, absolutely yes, isn't shifting, Fabulous. hasn't made it buckle, so yes, thank you Molly for the parchment, well, um, thank you Clarity. Paris Parchment. Okay, limited stock. Please check your baskets out. Sharon, thank you. Thank you. It's been so, so lovely. Do you know when you're back with us? I love I Sharon. don't at the moment. Oh, no. please make it soon. <laughs> it's been fabulous. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Take you. Care, thank you, everybody. Bye. Tremendous stamp benders coming up next. Oh, and do you know, there are some lovely stamps over there. Um, we've then got stamps away. It's your one day special. And then design. And so stay tuned to a chandler. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. 
The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and um, we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut um, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on our channel. Hello everybody and a warm welcome. We have got an amazing show lined up for you, brought to you courtesy of Stampendous, some beautiful, beautiful stamps and actually something that I think is an original. I've never seen this design before. We won't get to that just yet because I need to introduce you to another original. It's the one and only Karen. Hello. Hi, you're How right. are you? Great I'm to fine. see you. Thank you. Karen, I've made you a promise a long time ago and I haven't fulfilled it. I know. Until today. Now I left something on the counter. If you just want to turn over and see what I left. Oh, first the other one. First the Not other that one. one. That one. There we go. Who's that to? Dear Brenda, Karen tells me you are a big fan of, An uh, of a chander. Keep up the, cra the crafting. Love Yanis. A signed <laughs> picture for your mum who I know is watching. But I didn't leave you Hi, out. Mom, I didn't one. leave you out either. There's another one there. Have a little read there. Dear Karen, I love working with you. You always put a smile on my face. Lots of love, Yanis. Thank you. There you go. If you if you have a black marker, if you could make my hair a little bit longer, because obviously it's not very current anymore. It's all right. I need some new headshots. It's all right. My Facebook page is about <laughs> 10 years old when I were a lot slimmer. <laughs> well, I promised you that, so I'll give it to you. Let's get into the show. Oh, we have got some great stamps for you. Now, apologies, we're going to get the graphics on the screen. Just got a few gremlins in the system. Have a look at this stamp set. This is the Masked Mice. I think, and a lot of teams said exactly the same thing. I'm confident to say this is the first time we've seen a stamp set featuring face masks and obviously it's a big part of uh, life current life now we don't know how long for but look this is a snapshot of when you get stamps this is something i think a real moment capturing a moment in time as a yes, crafter yes yes yeah i uh, i saw it's a new release it's been released in just 
towards end of September, and oh. I picked this one because I just. They're, quite, they're cute. Thought, they're cute. Well, we know what's going on in the world. It's going to be on for a, a few more months, at least till Christmas. Yeah. And I wanted to to bring something that reflected this. This is not just for card making or anything else. It's also for journals. But the cute, yeah. the, 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 the 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 emotions and the sayings and the little words in them. They're excellent. It's just look. Cute. Stay masked, stay mice. Now I've got to tell you. What? 80% of the stock's gone? Never. Thank you. We, we've only just started looking at these. Well, Can that's I just lost to me demos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, sort some, we'll sort something out. Oh. Uh, can I show you the, a couple of other things that we've made as well? Look at this, which I think is beautiful from Karen. But then, what Karen's done, very, very clever. So that's another one. And look, wishing you a mice big six foot hug. Oh. And then look, you've got this. We are limited stock for this option, oh. so if you want to get a hold of it, please, please, please be quick. Fourteen ninety nine your price, less than ten percent of the stock remaining. That is genius. So a little bit of envelope art. Somebody comes and gets a letter, and yeah. we're all getting these these. Oh, love it. A lot of for, brown ones, but yeah. you get that, and you know it's somebody's uh -huh. chair you up, something to cheer you yeah. up. Fourteen ninety nine. your price, 140312, your item number. Very, very busy for these. If you want to get hold of it, it's about to go, so please, please don't miss out. Right, we're going to move on. We've got a really nice duo, and here we were kind of describing it as um, this is for your difficult, when you say difficult cards, uh, for your masculine cards, you see here you've just got, look, I'm fully conscious of the fact this is not just for guys but I'm saying there are occasions and something we hear a lot at Ho Chanda if you struggle for uh, making a card or an inspiration for maybe a nephew, an uncle, a brother-in-law it's a nice image but then you've also got this cute image too so we've gone from quite masculine a lovely uh, scenic scape Two very cute under the sea mermaid hearts, mermaid hair, uh, don't care. <laughs> I love this. Mermaid hair, don't care. That, I would be, like, I know the image is quite young and fun, <laughs> but mermaid hair, don't care, I'd rock that sentiment too. You'd rock that, yeah. I read Facebook as well, because you'd rock that one. <laughs> Let's just have a little look at some of the images. This is what Karen's done. I mean, that is beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that a lovely scene? A beautiful surround there. Really like that. Or you can achieve something like this. All from the same set. Karen's so good with her inspirations. And she has Karen did not have these for very long. And then uh, I think the stamps got delivered to her on Friday, so she hasn't been playing around with them for much uh, very long this week. Look at that, just a simple gold emboss. Beautiful. But you're also getting the mermaid in the mix. And look at this. Bit of shrink with the mermaid and they're cute see we've gone under the sea with our shrink but equally you can go that's nice too i've got to give you a little update i've got to pop these down because this is quite a big update actually so that's your mermaid let me pop that down uh with regard to the mice it's sold out it's back on extended delivery 18th of october so okay there is a little bit of a wait but worth those 10 days wait so 18th of october if you want to get hold of one of the most original stamp sets i've seen in a very very long time one four zero three one two your item number we're going to keep moving down the counter we've got more for you so we've got our balloons having a look this is all about celebrations and the joy of a celebration is there are so many things, especially this year, we really do have to celebrate those nice moments in life. So if it's a birthday or an anniversary or just a congratulations on a new job, uh, congratulations just over here, this one, uh, congratulations maybe on a new addition to the family, if you know somebody who's maybe had some good news, any good news. We've got our balloons, we've got the candle, so we can put that, lay that down as many times as we like. We've got... Oh, very tasty little muffin. I've got to give a, a mention to our producer, uh, Emily, who, who makes possibly the best cakes ever. I'm still there waiting to taste one. Yeah, she's, she really is. She's an expert when it comes to cakes. But that's something that anyone with a sweet tooth. And the beauty of these muffins is Karen has assured me they are 100% calorie free. Well, I think that's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck all. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine is your price. You're getting ten stamps in total. Eight three four six five five. Your item number. We're going to move on. Bye bye, Sharon. See you soon. Oh, Sharon's awesome. We can't say goodbye, Sharon too. I haven't seen Sharon in like a year. Um, I'm sad I didn't get to work with her. Isn't she lovely? Oh, yeah, we she's like talented. Her. Very, very, very uh, talented. Now, we're going to have a look at another sta uh, stamp set for you. So these are your groovy drinks, the fruity drinks. <laughs> fruity drinks, but they're groovy. Um, I like this because you're getting an awful lot of elements. But let me just show you. This is not an inspiration. It's just literally the stamps stamped out so you get to see what you have afforded to you. Now, there's a lot to play around with. So we have a look. The, and the beauty is here, we can really go quite fun with our colours. So think about the different mediums that you have. Bright, vibrant. I know the weather outside is looking a bit more miserable these days, so if you do want to inject a bit of colour and fun into your life, this is a great set to consider. Fourteen ninety nine your price, 17 stamps in total, 251 309 your item number. And also the sentiments in there too, you're sweet as tea. Ah, oh, like it. Right, now we shall progress. We've got some flowers, but these aren't ordinary flowers. These are your lovely flowers. Um, I do like the jar having in there. The way you can construct the image, Karen. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so the flower there, you can put them in the jar, jar, make it a focal image. However, your flowers, they've got stems on, but only half stem. So if you want to just use the flowers on, the mo on their own, mm -hmm. you don't have to use the jar. You can uh, just draw down with your fine liner pens. Two different sets here. There's, a, there's another one on the uh, on, on the website. Oh, okay. Uh, we've just not got it on the counter. That's fine. We will show that. This is the set that we're looking at at the moment. So there we go. So you have that jar. You've got sentiments, beautiful, lovely. I love the borders around there as well, my friend. Hope you have a and then all those uh, lovely. And then you've got that's just screaming for colour. Got to tell you, we've got cues on our phone lines. We're having a busy one, and we should be because these stamps are awesome and they're fun. They they get you excited about crafting. Karen, as a crafter, you kind of know when you see something and it just gets you, doesn't it? I pick these. Well, <laughs> Stuart phoned, he, uh, phoned me up and he asked me, "Do you want to have a look at the the you know catalog? The catalog, yeah. And pick them. So I've been when, really excited to get them, and it's sort of like being I've done nothing else all weekend apart from being up in my craft room. Do you know you know like rock, sticks of rock? If you yeah. break it in half and you see inside what's written, if we broke you in half, it would say crafter. I mean, you are a crafter through and through, right? Lunatic, yeah. So, no, you're just a crafter. <laughs> you love it. And the reason I say that is if Karen's excited about these, I can only imagine yeah. at home what you're thinking as well. So, uh, going to move on. We've got another set for you. The, I love butterflies. And I know we yeah. see a lot of butterflies as crafters, but these are beautiful. They're very, very really the, pretty. They're realistic butterflies. Yeah. They're very true Ooh. to life. You can put them in your journals. You can do something... Uh, True to nature. Yeah. Uh, Sharon would love that. Would love to be colouring those in because obviously yeah. she's an actual artist. But you can stylize them as well. Do you so, know? What but I'm they, they were just they just took my fancy because I thought that's a set that you need to do everything with as a base a staple set that you can yeah. keep referring to. It's a nice little shaker card there. You've got your butterflies as an accent and I think a bit of glossy accent on there or. Look at that. That's a background from uh, from uh, Clarity. Yeah. They did the wooden backgrounds. Yes, recently. Recently, yeah. Well, you got your hands on that quickly. Oh. Shh, <laughs> <I gotta> don't <laughs> tell me, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Got to tell you, these butterflies on some old papers. So if you know a, yeah. a book, maybe you're upcycling a book that uh, would have gone to landfill. Yeah. Wouldn't that look great? It's like yeah. vintage paper. So they're vintage, uh, but they can be bright yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So that's why I they took my fancy. Fourteen ninety nine your price there. Four eight one four zero seven your item number. Now we've got our celebrate friends, and I think these friends would go very nicely with our mice with the masks. Yes. Yeah. They're cute. Let me just show you what you're getting here. Oh, come on. They're, they're very, very cute. I love cute things. Yeah, look at this. Little things, little cute Friendly things. Friendly little fellas, you and me, happy birthday to you. Ah, oh, I love you. Hooray. <laughs> Thank you, Paola. <laughs> uh, friends forever, let's celebrate. You're the best. Yeah, like this a lot. Fourteen ninety nine your price. the sentiments that attracted yeah. me to those. Just nice house sentiments. House mouse are always house mouse. Yeah. But they, I have to say, these are popular too. Look, 40% of the stock's gone. Look, oh, wow. come on. 
there's a look at the trying to have it. Oh, yeah. I like um, it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, 826 419, your item number. Now, tell us a little bit about this next one because you put this together. And we're getting all these stamps, am I right in saying it's, it's not a set I put together, oh, well, but apologies. we normally yeah. have just a st small stamp set. Yeah. Now, Laurel Birch is very, very well known, very, very well renowned. And I saw this set and it's, it's if, if, I know, if anybody's never, ever stamped, mm -hmm. um, it's a complete kit. So yeah. it's, got a, it's got a stamp block in it, it's got the, your first starter ink on it. Wow. into it and I know there are different inks and everything else but I mean for a starter <laughs> kit but it's got 10 beautiful sized stamps in it something that's not going to over overwhelm you yeah but I I put it together and I'd, I only did a decor piece because I'd stamped all the 10 out and I did a decor piece with nine of them in. It's not in a frame, I couldn't find a frame. I didn't want to make a cardboard frame, so yeah. I've done it on uh, on the Awkward Archer um, grey board. Okay. And then when I get to the, the, the craft shop, I'm going to put that in a 12 by 12 frame and that's going in my bedroom. Oh, it so, looks fantastic. But yeah, it's, abs it's, it's iconic. Laurel Birch is iconic, but you you tend yeah. to just get either cats and very or distinctive. dogs and this is a mixture of everything and remember with the bundle not only are you getting all 10 of the stamps you're also as karen was just uh, telling you you're going to be getting your your ink so your starter ink and your uh, block as well so you're getting your ink your block all the stamps it is a comprehensive kit and something that's so distinctive uh, very individual here 23.99 your price 809 112 your item number as we head to our first demonstration she's got a few things to share with you uh, oh this is cute that's a lovely stamp so 9.99 we got the house mouse kitten uh, on the rubber it's on the um, keys it's a rubber stamp that's very sweet there uh, 217824 your item number we have some more to share I like that one though you've got your sunrise and your sunset so uh, wow. now that with the silhouettes create your background yeah like that a lot. Fourteen ninety nine your price. One five three three four seven your item number. Uh, we got another one to share. So now we've got something that's a bit spooky. Uh, this is your skeleton humor clear stamp set. Twenty stamps in total. That's cute. I like that. That's, that I like the shake, rattle, and roll. Eleven ninety nine your price. Good price. Five eight zero two five two your item number. Uh, and finally, this is going to be a happy hour. Now I've got that here actually. Uh, it's your Christmas stamp set. It's your Nordic Christmas die and stamp set. Half price saving, but only for this hour. And I've got it actually here in the studio just to show you the size. Now for $13.99, you are getting the dies and you're getting the stamps. That's very good. Yes, yes, I'm rather miffed I didn't get that one to play with. Oh. <laughs> and then they didn't get the skeletons either. Oh, well, but next, so next time. Next time, next but yeah, time. they are gorgeous. I saw them when I came into the set and I thought, oh wow, they're pretty. They're, they're uh, really useful. Yeah. And that's Kaiser Craft as well. I mean, mm. that is a pff, come on, for $13.99. Good, good buy, and we all know, cause, uh, just working at Hochanda, I know how popular Kaiser Craft is. So, uh, saving 14 pounds, 600, 435, your item number. It is a happy hour, though. All right, we're going to start playing. What are we going to do, Karen? Well, first of all, I just want to give a quick, uh, quick heads up, and I still not got it out. What a dip. Yeah, I've had, when I stamp these, when you get them, you get your stamps there, and you think, oh, what do I use here? Mm -hmm. So, a quick thing that I would like to just show you what, what I. Yeah. can do or you can do as a reference it's just something that I normally stamp all these out as you know and I take them off the backing paper stamp them out mm -hmm. and that can take me up to two to three hours to do that uh, back them onto black so you can all see them all stamped out and I was a bit rushed for time so I thought well, why don't I do this mm -hmm. and I just stamped everything as it was on got my brayer mm -hmm. popped straight on kept my finger on it use my brayer okay and just not for anything in particular but now i've done that with a piece of card i've got them all stamped out and now i've got a reference oh uh, well that i mean it's and that saved me loads of time so i just wanted to yeah. share that tip
That is cute. So I know now, when I want to put those into storage, I can put that on the front and I know exactly what's on that stamp set. That is a top tip. I top, like top that tip. one. Yeah. I, would, I, would, I was... Uh, it was sort of one of them, oh, yes, moments. kind of moments. Nice. Now, we have got the mice. Remember, they're on extended delivery, the mice with the masks, but really busy for these. Uh, it's going to be delivered, or oh, dispatched, I say, on the 18th of October. Uh, 14 99 your price, 140312. But when have you ever seen a stamp set? And this, to me, is a snapshot in time. We, this year has been such a weird year, and we can all relate, but how many now you go out, massive, it just, we don't even blink an eye, do we? It's no, just normal. No, no. But we haven't seen any, I certainly have not seen any star uh, stamps with characters wearing a uh, mask. And also very positive uh, sentiments in the mix too, so nice Very, set. very, yes, not doom and gloom. No. The, not doom and gloom. So I'm going to introduce the uh, the reversal plate on here. And okay. this is the one that I'm going, I'm heading towards. Um, it's the same stamp, but mm -hmm. I've reversed it. So they are actually social distancing. Uh -huh. So you're yeah. never too cute to be safe. But if you look, one's looking one way, one's looking the other. But where yeah. they put the hands, it's so cute. Yeah. It's like, whoa, Just, <laughs> this is cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> just tell me, now, with the reverse, I haven't done a show with the reversing plate before, so that mirror plate. Can you just tell us a little bit about it, please? So, yes, um, I believe that Stampendous was, were, was as about as did this many many years ago and mm -hmm. this was the first one that we that, that yeah. ever came out onto the market uh -huh. what we used to do is used to get a block mm -hmm. we used to stamp onto it and hopefully see if it went through yeah. but with stamping plate a reversal stamping plate it makes it the job much much easier so could we i'm thinking like reflections in the water would that help with that certainly yeah. yes yeah yeah okay. so yeah def definitely reflections that's what uh, it's a it, mirror it, it's a it's a mirror it gives a mirror image yeah. but so you've got one person pointing that way and then you can do the mirror image you so the same them. person is point is is pointing that way nice. and touching okay it does take a little bit of getting used to okay and i do find that in the uh, studio it never goes right oh, well until now well i'm i've um, these are the inks that were on the other day, you know, when you got the sample set. Yeah. So I bought this, bought those. Oops, Mum's watching. You are you are <laughs> possibly one of the biggest Ho Chanda fans out there. Because you do, even when you're not here, you have Ho Chanda on in the background keeping you I company. I do, I have it in the craft room. Oh. I've not got TV in the craft room, in the yeah. craft room, but so I have my laptop on. Uh -huh. So this is one that I, I've got on my electronic die cutting machine and I've cut out... Um, I did stamp them and cut them out. Now those mm -hmm. two are going exactly the same way, but if I flip it, I know that that one's going to go the opposite way. Yeah. So I'm actually wanting to stamp onto that part. Okay. Um, they're what I cut around with my electronic die cutting, nice. you know, electronic yeah. machine. Yeah. I want that one, and I'm going to stamp again. So yeah. my brand new Versafine. Yeah. I'm stamping it out. Oh, treating yourself to the Versafine. That's juicy. It is, and I've just opened it as you could, as you yeah. saw. Okay. And I'm hoping the air conditioning doesn't uh, dry it out. No. And then I'm going to stamp it onto a flat surface onto the mirror mat. Okay. And just make sure that I don't move or anything else. And I'm trying to get as much of the ink onto there. Right. And then take it away. So that we've now stamped good. it onto there. Yeah. My die cut or electronic cut, I'm going to place straight over the top. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to rub. You could have fussy cut those out. You can fussy yeah. cut them out. I just didn't have time to sit fussy cussing. That's okay. So I stamped them and put them just Dream as a. Uh, I scanned them into my computer and just did them cut as. Them uh, I know okay. Haley's shown you how to do it on yeah, the, with the silhouette. silhouette. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm making sure that. I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss any. And then I'm going to lift it up. I've got a good feeling. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, yeah. And that's not too bad. It will that's... always become a little bit lighter because yeah. you, you're moving the ink from one side to the other. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, but that's a pretty, pretty good one. Yeah, like that. Yeah, there's the culprit walking past that made me buy all those ink pads. Oh, <laughs> so Paula. <laughs> So we've now got one going one way and yep. one going the other. If it's not dark enough for you, you can always fill it fill it in. And nice. what did I do? Now look at all those pens that you ah, bought. Ah, there we are. Pens. 
So these, uh, uh, as funny as it was, I was working on these before the, before the programme previously. Yeah. yeah. And um, they're very good, aren't they? Yeah. It's it's thick. And I'm not going, and I'm just going around the outer edges. It's always nice to see guests when you come in and they use, just what as your own preference, you were using these even before we featured them, the tech, uh, Yes, yeah. To, uh, what was it? It's just been Charit, isn't it? Yeah. Kurataki. The Kurataki. Kurataki, yeah. Yeah. So I went a little bit dark there, but yeah. just making sure his, his belly's a little bit lighter. And they're not hard to colour in. No. I'm just shading I'm where they need shading. You know, I'm so surprised that we hadn't seen up until this day, because it seems it's been such a big part of our lives now for so long. Mask. The first time we've seen a character wearing a mask. I've seen them with nurses. This is stamps wise. Sorry, for stamp, for wise. stamp wise, I've seen them with generic nurses. Yeah. Uh, they've they've they've. I've seen quite a few out there mm -hmm. on the market where they've uh, used, um, you know, the NHS yeah, yeah. and done it for the NHS. But I've not actually seen any where it's just been for normal, uh, normal, for non-key workers. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this this really excited me when I got mm. them. I'm going to do this as quickly as I possibly can. Okay. I've done all the matting and layering, but I just want to show you that. I'm not a, an expert in watercolouring, mm -hmm. and all I'm doing is just straight pens and blending them. And as I say here, what I could do is uh, I could have gone over it with it with my no. deeper brown. Yeah, but I'm quite happy to. You enjoy your and these are actually great characters to colour. Yeah. Yeah, they're so simple as well. They watercolour up beautifully, and you see some, but they're easy to watercolour up as well. Yeah. Just that little dark outsides, mm -hmm. and then lighter on the insides. Got to tell you, with regard to our extended delivery on our masked mice, sixty percent of the stock's gone. That's oh. on the extended now. Do remember, it's going to be dispatched on the eighteenth. Do not miss out. They have been enormously popular, and I'm just not the characters. They are great characters. Oof. Have they got their own names as well? No. Nope. Okay, well, we can name them. You name them, yeah. All right. Well, if you do have any names, we get now, I have to say, everyone at home, you guys are incredible whenever we do this. Come yeah. up with good names. So, oh, do they? Oh, at the top of the stamp set, I think they, they do have names. Let's have a look at those. Do they? Oh. Happy Helpers. Oh, That's yes. Oh, they do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Oh. Is it Mud Pie Muzzy? Let me lift this up. I'll look at it to my naked eye and I'll see. I'll be able to do that. Well, I'm only colouring. So. so you've got Amanda, you've got Monica. Where did you get? Oh, yeah, it is Mud Pie. Uh, Maxwell and Muzzy. So that's cute. I think we have uh, Muzzy in this set. I think we've got Muzzy. Uh, we've also got Monica. And I think that's uh, Mud Pie. Mud Pie and Maxwell. Oh, they all start with an M. Yeah. For mouse. And for mouse. And for mouse. I'm surprised they didn't have a Morgan in there. Well, they probably have somewhere else. Yeah. But I, I look. Everybody loves a house mouse. Everybody mm -hmm. loves a house mouse. Why would I wear one on tonight's little pink? Oh, here we go. I want something that's not too pink. That's nice for easy use. Nice. I know I'm only quickly putting these together. I would spend more time doing that. Well, that's okay. And I did do I did do some in advance, mm -hmm. but I really messed up <laughs> and just tried covering it up and covering it up and well, covering didn't mess it up. up. They look pretty good to me. <laughs> oh no, they're not. <laughs> I think they look okay. I think they look okay. You're too hard on yourself, Karen. You know when you've got, you've really not tried and you thought, oh, what have I done? There now, I have go. got another stamp just to show with you. Do you mind if I just show you? You carry on. I'll be, I'll be for at least a couple of minutes yeah, doing this. Okay. Look at this stamp set. Now, this is a grey rubber stamp set. What a beautiful image. It is the little kitten. You've got the keys. So, a uh, little kitten playing on the piano and then the mice keeping her company. Look. So behind you. Oh, they do, they're singing a little carol. Yeah. And you've got the names in there too. Oh, so we've got Muzzy, we've got Mud Pie, Amanda, Monica, and Smokey the Cat. Smokey the Cat playing a tune for the gang. And if I just show you, that is a beautiful grey stamp. Look at the etching. 
that you have in there. That would stamp wonderfully. Love that. If you have a look to your your left mm -hmm. behind you, there are three samples that I've done. On oh, the yeah, back. I will get. I'll, I'll get that. Yeah. Yeah. You can oh. tell which ones I liked and which ones I didn't like. Very nice. Shall I show these? Just so, look. That's just with an emboss, a white emboss. Yeah. How cute it, and that's a strong image. Yeah, so look, but you, can you see the detail in it? Yeah, and, and that's that with an emboss. Embossed. That's ridiculously that's good. That's embossed with the Stampender Superfine. Oh, yeah. And it's not blend, it's not joined together or anything. Those are just other ones. Can we just go back to the emboss? Now, I've got to let you know, we have got the embossing powders on the show. So we've got two embossing powders, the ultra thick and then the super fine from Stampendous. If you want to get a hold of those, all that detail, nothing is lost. That is extremely impressive, even down to here. So $9.99 price if you want to get a hold of that stamp. For $9.99, a grey rubber stamp of that quality, I think that's blooming good value. Uh, we've got the embossing uh, enamel, which is going to show you here. So uh, there we go, aged embossing enamel, pick a mix, choose any two for $9.99 and you can find all the options on our website, 112116. If you want to find the uh, super fine, go onto our website as well. So all we're going to do now is, uh, I've put a card together, um, studio light, backing paper, yeah, yeah, all bought from here. Nice. I've die cut a couple of things out. I've not brought a die cutting machine today because it's it's stamping, and I've chosen a sentiment. And this one is just going to say thank you for being nice and keeping others safe. Ah. I think that's cute, and yeah. uh, these are the ones that you can start sending out because we need to start like, getting in contact with people, don't we? Agreed, yeah. We do because we're. Um, it's how it is. Like, it's how it it's is. Having that connection. Yeah, yeah. Do you know where I miss? I what? miss hugs. Oh, emojis. Yeah, the emoji hug. Emoji hug. hug. Everybody looks at me going out and I say, well, you need to speak to Yanis. <laughs> Yanis told us we're having emoji hugs. That's it. Just a little bit of that. Just a little bit. Keep your hands together and emoji. I'm just highlighting the, the sides of it, just to take away the starkness of the white. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pop, pop, pop it down, and just build it together. Nice. It's not going to be. I've got a bit of. Anybody wants to know how to keep the glue from drying up? Okay. Get a container. Yeah. A couple of, you can use the same baby wipes, just keep adding water to it yeah. and then you have it upside down so that if, where's the camera? There you go, you're right yeah, there. there. Yeah, there. So you have it so the air doesn't get into it. Uh, I've had mine on, on go since Friday and then upside no down like that. Just wet, the, wet mm. the, the wipes again. Did you see the show we did with Ecstasy Crafts, a Canadian company? Uh, when was that? It was oh, a bit of a couple, couple of weeks ago. But they um, they had these these sheets. It looked like double sided sticky sheets, but they weren't. They've got um, thousands of micro dots on there, yes. and you put it on and put, just seeing that little die cut that yes. you had there, fantastic yes. for that. Yeah, it is. I've got I've got something like that at home, and uh, I've forgotten it today. So I, I, I downsized. I used to come in with two trolleys worth. I've got <laughs> one trolley, and that's it. And then we've got us Mises. Mises, Mises. So there. we can either have them looking at each other and saying this, or we can have them going the opposite way. I think going the opposite way. Opposite way. Yeah. I'm not going to um, pop them on um, dimensional. No. But don't forget your colouring is what you like to do. That's not. That's a really that's, nice card. And you're just saying thank you for being nice, keeping others safe. The better one there that I spent a lot longer on. Okay. Yeah. Where are we? There, there we go. go. But you think it's a rainbow? It's a rainbow coming through, which is also the same for key workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just have we dropped off? I think one of them <laughs> didn't like being near him. <laughs> <laughs> there mm. we go. 
And Super that's that one. Love it. OK, we are going to have a quick recap. We'll let Karen get set for her next demonstration. We are going to talk mice, and they are busy. So if you want to get hold of this fantastic stamp set, can we, looking at the sentiments here as well, there's some lovely sentiments. You're never too cute to be safe. Thank you for being mice and keeping others safe. Wishing you a mice big six foot hug. Ah. Another one, masks for protection, mice for fun. Have a mice home day, stay masked, stay mice. Hope you're better soon. So, you know, just a really nice set. And you've got all of the, you've got the characters in there too. And this is something Stampendous are building on. So characters that you see across the set, uh, you've got some great little mice there. They are named, and you'll see that on your set. $14.99 your price, 10 stamps in total. They are an extended delivery. They sold out very quickly. Uh, so if you do get the extended delivery, it will be dispatched on the 18th of October. Well worth the wait. Really is well worth that wait. Now we're going to keep on going down. We've got a nice duo here. You described it, you know, in our prep meeting. What did, you, you saw this set. How did you describe it? So the 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 uh, mermaid uh, and the boat. The training my teeth, but no. It's the awkward cards, the men yeah. and the children. That's true. It, but that is true. That's what we all uh, we all suffer with. Yeah, we love, and I have to say, it's nice, the team have their favourites, so uh, Emily, our producer, likes the mermaid, Marcus leaning towards that boat. Have a look at this, is that, how did you do this? Onto a so that's done with um, a stays on ink, Yeah. and then we paint uh, ceramic pens, what? and then you let it dry, you pop it in the oven for 40 minutes on a low temperature, yeah. and it becomes dishwasher safe. That's so cool. That's and I love that mermaid hair don't care. They're cute. So <laughs> that's your mermaid set. You've also got the boat. Let me just show you some examples of the boat that Karen made. I think these are beautiful. So look at this. That is a very classy card. Isn't that nice? Just a gold emboss like that. Or what about this one? Again, using that boat. And then finally, got this one here, injecting a little bit of colour into the mix too. Fourteen ninety nine, your price, 662 your item number. Right, we're going to progress on. We've got our celebration set with the balloons. Um, we love balloons. Everybody loves a balloon. And here, you're actually getting a lot of imagery, sort of those celebrations. And we talked about it could be any celebration. If somebody's got a big event, I don't know, maybe someone's got their very first one-day special today at 6. <laughs> That's our lovely Haley. She's getting set up. Please don't miss it. But you know, any celebration, new addition to the family, someone's got a new job, someone's got a new car, someone's got a new cat. 14, or of course, birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, you've got your cupcake in the mix, you've got your candles, you've got your sentiments, and you've got your balloons. Uh, 14 99 your price, 834665. Now, something to quench your crafty, uh, your crafty thirst. What about this? It's our fruity drinks that you can make very groovy because you've got some great shapes in here. So really nice, iconic drinks. Have you got a favorite cocktail, Karen? Say again, sorry. Favorite cocktail? As long as it's got, as long as it's got Bacardi in it, I don't care. Oh, okay. All oh, right, there we go. Other spirits are available. Uh, Kirsty. White rum, should I say that? Okay, there you go. White rum. Uh, Kirsty, got a favorite cocktail? Of what? A mango loco. What's in a mango loco? Oh, I don't know. Karen's like, what's in a mango loco? I'm guessing mango with a bit of with a bit of alcohol. Uh, look, 14.99. Beauty is you get to make whatever drink you like. But what I do really like about, I think, the appeal of this set is that it can be fun. If you just want to embrace a bit of colour as well, it, you have connotations. I don't know why. Cocktail, I think holiday doesn't have to be, but it has those connotations too. 14.99 your price. You are getting 17 stamps in total. 251-309 your item number. Now we've got our lovely flowers in the mix. And this is another set you're going to be, they're a scene builder. You're going to start constructing and building up your scene here. But it's that space it affords to inject color, to put your own personality in. You've got nice sentiments too. Enjoy a lovely day. Beautiful blossoming uh, blooms in there. Hello. You've got the ribbon to tie around the flowers uh, as well. 056205, your item number. 1499 is your price. And then you can pop your flowers into the jar as well, just to set them off. There are butterflies. And then 
there are stampendous butterflies. Look at these. The photorealism is incredible. So if you wanted to get that sort of, um, it's not botanical, Victorian, how would you describe it? You know the Victorians, they love nature and they would, they would keep butterflies, but it's not botanical. What's the word I'm looking for? Hornithological? No, is that no, trees? No, that, that's, uh, oh. I'm just saying long words. There is with, with, the, with the insects, isn't there? They used to keep them because they used to get them and they used to they well, kill yeah. them, didn't they? They used to gas them. <laughs> Put pins in them, and have them. they did. We went, this. we went very dark very quickly. They there, did. <laughs> they did. They used to, but the, but now yeah. being politically correct, what well, we no. do is we 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 we, we stamp we them. stamp them and yeah. do it. But yeah, they, yeah. They did. okay. I remember my mum having some butterflies that well, were dry. That these were are beautiful butterflies. Frame. Let me just show you. What was that? What was that Emily? Entomology, possibly. I mean, email in if we're right or if you uh, know the correct answer. But have a look at these butterflies. That's yeah, really nice. It's that photorealism that you're getting, and they do. Whether it's just monochromatic or, do you know what I'd be? Do you know what I'd be doing? Stamping onto some acetate, adding a bit of. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry, <laughs> clumsy. Adding a bit of colour into the mix too. Fourteen ninety nine is your price. Four eight one four zero seven. Your item number. Now, we've got more very cute characters, so uh, I am giving you a cutie warning. This actually sold out when we were at demonstration, so it's back on extended delivery. I'm guessing the 18th, yeah. Uh, 11 stamps in total. Look at all the characters. We love them. You and me. You plus me, I should say. Sorry. Uh, happy birthday to you. I love you. That's just such a lovely stamp. Hurrah, uh, hurrah rather, hooray. Uh, let's, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. You're the best. Friends forever. 826419, your item number. 1499, your price. Eating now, it could be. Oh, it is. Do you know what? I thought it was. I thought. I've got it here. I thought it was um, cheese, but it's actually some chocolate in there, too. Oh, very cute. With the heart. So there we go. Lovely characters, 826-419, item number, dispatched on the 18th. Now we've got bundle here. And you're getting stamps, but not only are you getting stamps, it's a, it's a comprehensive kit because you're also getting the ink and you're getting the acrylic block in the mix as well. Tell us a little bit, Karen, about the artist because it's so distinctive. It's uh, Laurel Birch. She's yeah. a, an American artist. Um, a lot of her designs were put in, I think it was the late 60s, early 70s, you know, the psych psychedelic, yeah. but a lot of her artwork was just um, in places like um, furniture stores. Yeah, so big iconic. Iconic, yeah. yes, yes, a lot of her artwork was uh, was reprinted and framed and that's how it was sold. But these are very collectible. Yes, they're very, very collectible, but they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. Mm, um, like so and distinctive you can go in to style. town and there's, there's never a right or a wrong way yeah. to colour because of the, um, you know, like Andy Wardall, the, yeah. the, the artist, yeah. she's in that, that kind of league. She's got a bit of the Andy of, Warhol uh, about her. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so there we go. Now remember, you're not only getting the stamps, you're also getting the ink, uh, so you're getting a little mini ink pad, and you're getting the acrylic block there. $23.99 your price, eight oh nine one one. Oh, uh, Just some other sets that are proven very popular. We're going to share those with you. The Moonlit Wind. Uh, wings, rather. Uh, look at this. Stampendous Moonlit Wings. Nine stamps in total. There is, uh, I think this is very ethereal, it's got a lightness to it, and I tell you, background, stamping these in, you can create something very special indeed. Fourteen ninety nine, your price, 986-186. Now, we've got a bunch of blossoms for you. So, this is another set that goes well with the lovely flowers. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine, your price, make today a great day. Yes, words to live by, 281-315. Love your bunches, and you should. Thank you. I love, I love bunches. Okay, let's carry on. So we're going to do one like this, and I thought I'd do the the uh, yeah. the boat. Okay. I've die cut all the products, all, all the the bits out that I need. You yeah. don't want to see me doing that. And Have quite... you used the crackle? Yes. That so we've got set. the background. Yeah, it was it was um, one we just flashed. Sorry, we'll, we'll show you those details because a lot of you are shopping ahead. So we'll just flash a, a picture of the set on your screen. Uh, in de there you go. Now that is a great set. So and you're getting five stamps and one stencil yeah. for eleven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in shot, am I? 
No? Okay. Well, I've just found 